Oh, the ruse has been shattered. I just rem like I just got thrusted into everything again. I forgot all the fucking hell that we went through everything, and then just in the span of two minutes got told, "Hey, demons, figure it out," and then saw one in person. It was an experience. So I need to count how many people are in the house right now. Uh, everybody in the party except for Rinya and Rear. Rinya, are you and then my family. The window still, or did you? No, go I'm to the I'm barn? in the barn still. So you're so, inside of a building. Yes. Right. Wait, so Alphonse we left me. the gate? You don't remember that? You guys all went back to Poe's place to rest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. we were all almost dead, so we went to say fuck it. And then there was so, one more like mini fight as we got the thing out of the uh, Alphonse. Uh, yeah, how much ma how many party members are there total? How many party members do we have? Here tonight? Well in gen, like the whole thing. Oh, uh, were well, you down three, and there's normally five, eight, yeah, so eight, yeah. So, f uh, eight minus, well, technically nine if you add rear, so, and then add three onto that, twelve minus two, ten. Uh, there's ten people in my house. Yep. Okay. Anybody who is... I want to say the druids can roll on this. Yo. But, um, Re, you get to roll two. Um, John? So, yeah. In, I guess in all of your, in a, in a certain way, all of you would be sensitive to what is about to be happening. So I'm going to let you all roll. Um, all right. Give me a perception check from each of you. I've only all right, two started rows. off good. Start so off far, good. all of them not. Oh, this is promising. Thank God the okay. rogue exists, you know? Okay, so... Um, Poe, we'll start with you because you feel it a little bit. Um, as you guys just finished mopping up the demons that were surrounding Alphonse, um, I will say you guys have gotten your long rest, by the way, so go ahead and check that off. So you can all do your long rest and get caught up. Done. As you are waking up, Poe, from your meditation, you feel something off about the world around you. More off than normal? <laughs> yes. Ah. Like, you're, it's almost as though your connection with the nature around you is being severed. Ah, uh, so let me just get this line out of the way. I sense a disturbance in the forest, basically. Right, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. Nice. okay, nice, cool, great, fun. It's good. <laughs> you notice out the windows, it has gotten extremely dark. All of the light that ha that should be shining through the what lights or through the windows at this point of the day is completely gone, and you get a strange, unsettling feeling that you kind of feel like you felt before. Oh goody! Okay. Rinya and Rear don't notice anything. <laughs> We're tired, actually, yo. Actually, Rinya, you can give me separate che uh, separate perception checks for the two of you. Uh, um, they're they're uh, there trying to... Better. The first one, I think, counts for your elf, because the top half of you uses yeah. the elf stats. So you can roll one for Rear. Maybe he's more in tune with nature, because he's the horse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Horse and air quotes. Are they in there just trying to put themselves back together? <laughs> I mean, we're, we're I, mostly back together. I hear duct tape. What's going on? <laughs> right, yeah, that's one of the first things I saw after I got knocked out the second time. <laughs> Wake up, horse, and just like, ha. Ah. Today has been the weirdest day. To uh, what would I add to? 
is the barbarian proficient in perception? Yeah, it would be whatever his his wisdom score modifier is for is your perception bonus modifier. At least unless he's proficient. No, he's not paying attention either. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, you guys don't notice anything. All right. So you guys are all waking up. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'm casting my find familiar, just so I can get Pierre back. All righty, you got uh, Pierre back. Pierre, not Pierre. Pierre, not Pierre. I, I, keep, I keep trying to call him Pierre. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I summon Pierre. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what what there is to really do. <laughs> I mean. Well, um... you can start by looking outside your dam. Oh yeah, you know I might as well. <laughs> I sense a disturbance in the forest. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, I don't say anything yet. I just start summoning them. <laughs> okay. Wake up, go downstairs. Up, oh, everyone's here. Kind of nod it and whisper, "Just fuck you, disturb me." <laughs> hey, right back at you. Yep, also, nice. you should go outside. Yeah, that's the plan. Keep in mind, this is all telepathic. I'm just not even care. It's <laughs> all right, so you going outside, Bo? Of course. Oh my god, they've raced the road. You open up your door. When did the world become grayscale? <laughs> and almost kind of like a scene out of Silent Hill. Everything is incredibly dark. Wow, so my joke of everything being in grayscale kind of fits. No, it was pretty spot on. It wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Wasn't even joking. Saw the future. In fact, like, for the most part, it, it seems like the the terrain and everything around you is still there, but you don't feel the life force of nature coming from it anymore. <laughs> Gonna just walk back inside. Yeah, the world's dying. Normal, normal Thursday night, you know? Morning. Okay. Yeah, Bravo 6 going dark. Anybody else doing anything? You all watch Poe walk up, open the door, look outside, close the door, walk back in. <laughs> if, if he's going to say the world's ending, then Bree's going to hippity hop over to the closest window and look out. All right, Ree. Um, I said the out. world's dying, not ended. Two you different see, things. You can kind of barely see a gray cast surrounding. It kind of like the closest thing I can visually describe it as is kind of like the upside down in Stranger Things. Okay. I'm assuming this is demons. Yeah, the, the air almost seems kind of cloudy, and you're not quite sure what it is. It's not quite a mist. It's not quite, you know, ash or anything, it, but it's like the air has a thickness to it. Yeah. And everything is dark and grayscale and lifeless looking. All right, can I roll investigation? You can. You do not get advantage, though. What? It's none of the things that you have advantage on. All right, can I just roll perception then and just try to, like, look around and see if I can notice anything? Sure. Or even better, can I roll a nature check? Go ahead. Dirty 20. Oh. You get the sense from your nature check. And what you saw when you put on Death's Ring, that the area that had encompassed the town before seems to be extending. Oh, God. And it has now encompassed this area of the forest. Great. All right, I'm going to go in the room and I'm going to scribble on the paper and I'm going to write Void Expanded, Sorry Poe, Home, well, I, No actually, Good No More. You know the best part about this, though, now? Is I can speak telepathically to you, and you can respond. Does she, does she have to respond in uh, grunt? No, as long as we share a language, and technically we share common, she understands it. She just can't speak it. Oh, that's true. So I can speak with her, and I can understand her. Okay. 
Okay, well, I really scribble that on the paper. Yeah, yeah, just look at the paper. Mm. Nice. <laughs> I just turn my head, see the paper, and say, yep, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, no. I mean, so we're just up the grayscale outside, you know? What the... What do you got on that paper there? What's that say? Oh. Just a bit. World's dying. Uh, what's new? <laughs> exactly, you know? So, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna wake the kids. And, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out from there. <laughs> okay. You go to wake your kids, Pope. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> but they, too, seem grayed. And they don't respond. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, you know, uh, imagine this. Just, you know, you hear the nice footsteps upstairs. I imagine the house is relatively quiet. Just... <laughs> ah! <laughs> as you are up there, you'll notice your wife as well. Yeah. Is in the same condition. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, can I make a nature tech to try to deduce really anything about this besides they're just off. You can go ahead. Yep, roll a nature check. Not my A game today. Uh, Rhi, upon hearing the screams, is gonna hippity hop up the stairs and, uh, kind of look shocked and, like, cover their mouth with their hands when they see their family. <laughs> uh, can I... Can I roll a medicine check to see if I, there's anything I can do for him? Uh, go ahead. No. Nope. <laughs> Man, we're all just <laughs> kind of rolling to garbage sleep. today. <laughs> uh, so Rini is still asleep. Let's see if Rhea wakes up to the screen. <laughs> Nice. Okay, uh, so, so he, he thinks he hears something. Rear thinks he hears something, and also, so I'm going to say Rear wakes you up. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, he's also noticed while looking around the barn, all of the animals in the barn no. <laughs> are slumped over on the ground, some with their eyes still open, oh. and they appear to be kind of in grayscale. And you don't sense any life coming from them. That's, like, probably not good. They don't appear to be dead. But they don't appear to be alive either. Uh, side note, I've learned my lesson. I'm never making any characters with family again. <laughs> <laughs> That's two campaigns in a row I've had my own family torture me. Two different methods, by the way, but both being demons. That, rule number one, never give your DM, exactly. your DM tools to use against you. <laughs> I've, That's I've right. Learned, Be edgy, I, start with them already dead. I, <laughs> next time, name Everon 2, that's it. No moral connections to anything. I, 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 don't, I don't know, Sarah, because then it just turns out like Alabaster that you they're not all dead. <laughs> they just thought they were dead. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Just be rezoned, don't have family. There so you go. I'm assuming my earlier nature Surprise, deck you do have gave family. me nothing. Because I rolled a 14 to that. What did, what did you say, sorry, Poe? Nature check. I rolled a 14 oh, to it earlier. You have never seen anything like this. Nice. You are beside yourself right now looking at your lifeless children and your lifeless wife. <laughs> wow. Can, um, wow. Can I roll an arcana check? Sure. Well, damn! This is okay. some bullshit. <laughs> um, based on that Arcana check and what you see around you, and yet you're able to kind of piece together that something is very off about your surroundings. You seem to have been... It's almost as if you've been torn from the lair of reality that they it's all on. Or that it's been torn from the same layer as you. You're not quite sure which of the two. Okay. 
So hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to look around for the spirits, see if they're hanging around anywhere. Uh, so you're going to go outside? Well, I'm going to look around the barn first, and then I'm going to kind of peek out the windows and see if I can see them hanging out by the tree line. You don't see any in the barn. You, you don't even need to make a perception check, because I'm just going to tell you flat out they're not there. <laughs> OK. Um, then she's going to look out and see if she can see them kind of among the trees. So you're going to go look out the door? Yeah, or no the window. Or, yeah, whatever is, I can kind of see. So you go and you open up the door and you see roughly what I described to Poe earlier. Everything looks really creepy and grayscale and there's like almost no light. And there's like it's a weird... It's very shit out here. Yeah. You're only a perception check to see if you can see anything. Nope. Well, do you want to try and venture across the walkway to the house and see if any of your companions are still conscious? Or if they've fallen to the same fate as these animals? Well, clearly inside the barn wasn't any safer than outside, because half the animals are down with the sickness. Uh, all the animals are down with the sickness. Well, all of them are. So we're, we're gonna... Yeah, I think she's gonna try to head across. Probably both of them together. I don't think we're gonna let her go right, are, you, are you reassuming centaur form? More or less. Okay. They fight better as a duo. Be nice when they finally give me an actual centaur model in this. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I forgot your stream in that. All right. So you get up to the door. You're going to knock or lean your head in the window. I'm going to see if you left it unlocked. <laughs> I think I made it. Cl I know I was unconscious when we all entered, so <laughs> I'd never locked that door. Let, let's roll Poe, roll the dice. Roll a 20 sided die. High as you locked it, low. Oh, well, that's a 10. <laughs> Man, I'm going to count that as a low. <laughs> you didn't lock the door. <laughs> Listen, I had other things on my mind. Like, I just got beat to death by a fucking giant. So, <laughs> Serenia's so, going to let herself in and kind of let Rear squish himself through the doorway again. Okay. There Are you guys, like, that. alive in here? Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay, because, like, the animals out in the barn are totally on a separate plane. Seems about right. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, that makes, like, probably all of us, so. I'll take a look in a minute. It takes me an hour to summon this familiar. <laughs> I'll be there in a second. We'll, we'll, say, we'll say it's been enough time. You've got your bird back up by the time Brynja comes in. All right, time's up. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so what are you all doing? I want to look outside and see what an investigation check gives me. Uh, 15, John, or uh, Whisper, excuse me, you have uh, a dreadful sense that you remember, or you should, I should say, remember this, what you see outside. It, it looks extremely familiar, and you just have this weird urge that you never normally experience to just get the hell out of here. Oh, good. Can I attempt to cast a spell magic on my child? You can try. Alright, well, I cast a spell magic on the child. <laughs> I'm assuming if this is a spell, it's not third level or lower. It did not work. Nothing happens. Alright, not magic then. <laughs> Nope. It's an environmental effect. Nice. Fuck yeah, let's go. Okay, so... I'm gonna send Pierre up to fly up and just see if we can get a lay of the land. 
Pierre will fly up, and as, as he gets to about 30 feet in the air, his visibility gets cut drastically, and he is not able to see more than 60 feet in front of him. Even with dark vision? Even with dark vision. Okay. It's uh, almost as if this the thickness of the air uh, itself yeah. kind of prevents you from seeing beyond 60 feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to connect with him telepathically. Okay. And roll a perception check. All right. To see what I can see. Okay. He's going to kind of do some strafes. Jeez, all these low rolls. Come on. Yeah, you don't really see anything. Um, you do. If, uh, how far out were you telling him to circle around? Uh, I was gonna do maximum. Let me find. Out. I think it's. I think it's a hundred feet. Hold on. Yeah, he's he's got to be within a hundred feet of me for me to look through his eyes and see and hear what he hears. So just the hundred foot radius, kind of in a circle around me. All right. So, pardon me while I do some math. That's twenty units, I think. Yes. <laughs> Not quite far enough. All right. All right. So that sphere is about the radius at which he's going to get to scout out. Okay. And then he gets another 60 feet out from that. Is the rain, the edge of his vision. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's yeah. He's gonna see something on that. That's almost to the road. You're gonna see a pale horse at the very edge of your vision, down the road from your pose house. Same one I've seen before. I'm trying to remember. Have you seen this horse before? I think you have. have you seen yeah because <laughs> I've seen it through Pierre because that was when oh yes yeah, so then uh, yeah Krung jumped on him yep yep that is the same horse okay or at least you believe so it looks enough like the same horse that you would make that assumption gotcha okay I'm gonna snap back out of it so I'm back in the room basically okay you say everything looks really messed up out there it's very the air is thick. It's getting difficult to see. Not darkness, but like just thick. I do see, was it Binky? Yeah. Binky, yeah. Binky's Binky. still out there. Well, I mean, I would like ask you if he was grayscale, but he's already kind of grayscale. Is he like moving? He was just standing there? Yeah, he was standing there. With that perception check, you can't really tell if he was moving, moving, or if he was just standing there. Looked like he was just standing there, but I didn't get a great view. We could certainly go out and try to get closer. Well, I mean, like, if he's not frozen, we can't just leave him. True. Uh, I am down. Yeah, I think we need to go kind of take a look around and see what we can find here. All right, so you guys are going to go walk down in the road, check, see if Binky's there? Is that the general yep. consensus? Okay. Yep. Everybody going, or is there anybody staying behind? I think his wife and kids are staying behind. Yeah, they're <laughs> definitely staying behind. <laughs> uh, Ree, Ree comes down and is like, yep, ready to go. Let's figure this out. Sorry, my, my dad busted in what I just meant. Um, but Binky has been spotted on the road. Who's Binky? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. You just, <laughs> yeah, no, I have no, 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 you would, no, you would no. That. That's from the day before you lost. No, him. last thing, last thing I remember was the horse breaking into my house. Just after the morning oh, after right. the horse broke into my house, we encountered him. So I had you no idea. Know who Binky is. I have no <laughs> idea who Binky is. I just pat him on the back and just say, literally, death's horse. Sorry, we're like about to find out. We, what do you mean, death horse? You know, remember, death. Re I don't know death. 
I mean, I know the concept of death, but okay. you know, the well, idea of a, being a perso personification exactly. that as well. Oh, it exists. Great. Nice. Cool. Fun. He exists, and... He You're saying this like you've spoken to him, and that we've met him. Like, um, we have. Yeah. <sighs> Do you think what is wrong with you? How hard did you hit your head? Well, you saw you saw me get like squished like twenty times by that giant. Rock. I can speak in people's minds. That's how hard I got hit. True, true. Can you okay. like talk in my mind? That sounds cool. I'm I can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm honestly terrified about what I might find in your mind because I don't know the full extent of what I can do with it. Yeah, which mind? Which might Oh, right, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Good point. I mean, like, I guess it depends how much room you want in there. Anyway, so we're gonna go try to talk to Death real quick, possibly? Or at least this uh, horse? At least we're gonna see if the horse is, you know, well, like if, us, or like your family. If, yeah, don't bring that up, please. It's a really tough time. <laughs> if it's like us, or like your livestock. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate the uh, the change around that. If, if, <laughs> you're lucky I'm going through a tough time right now. <laughs> Put it on with a smile on my face. Anyway, if the horse is like us, I can at least speak to it. So maybe he has some information. If not, well, I have a horse statue outside my house now for a bit. Nice. <sighs> that would look really good if we all survived this. If. Big if. I'm crippled, my guy. <laughs> all right, you all start making your way down. Just a reminder, I have a 21 passive perception. I have a 17 passive perception. Free. Very descriptive. Man. So, as you guys get down there, I want... Let's see, you 17 pass. Ooh, let me uh, put in chat what your passive perceptions are. Just so I can see them. Jesus, a 21. <laughs> I mean, Dwayne, I think, has like a 23 right now for passes, so. Okay, so it's, it's pretty easy. John, you're gonna get to roll an advantage. Uh, <laughs> anybody who rolled a anybody who has a 17 or higher, you get you just get to do a flat out roll. Nim, you get to roll at advantage because of your your, your thing. Ah, okay. Oh, and I don't get advantage on perception though. Oh, it's, oh, it's not. not perception. Oh, well then, never mind. You just stuck with your regular roll. Anyway, yeah. 23. Well, I only have a 15, so. Oh, does that count? No, it's not high enough. Okay. We're rolling perception. Yep, you're rolling it. You advantage get advantage. Because you have a freaking 21 for a natural perception. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So, Fennel, you also get to... Yeah, there you go. All right. So, Fennel, as you're walking up, you see Binky sitting there in the middle of the road. And he is chewing on some grass, but he keeps spitting it out after he starts to chew on it. It's almost like he's realizing that it has no flavor. And it's already dead grass. It's gross. But you can see that he's clearly moving, and he appears to have a regular color skew to him, much like you and your companions do. Poe, you see behind Binky, behind one of Binky's legs, there's a light, faint glow and a figure standing behind one of Binky's legs. Can't quite make out what it is. It appears to be a rather short humanoid figure. And Whisper, that looks an awful lot like The the mayor, yeah, that, that you saw for a brief period that left with Bink, left with the horse earlier that morning. He appears to be see through, though. Nice. 
see through. Yeah, like you can see right through him. <laughs> but he's shiny. He glows a little bit. Okay. Some would say that he's a spirit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you would you would deduce that he appears to be a ghost and or spirit sort of thing. He's not corporeal. But he's moving around. Uh, he is kind of standing behind Binky on the opposite side of the rest of, of the horse from the rest of you. You can kind of like make him out by the ass end, sort of. He does appear to be looking in your in all of your direction, kind of waiting expectantly as you come walking down the road. Hi, Binky. The horse kind of like snorts and looks at you, moving its ears around. What does that mean? I understand beasts. <laughs> do you do you do you speak beast? I, I forgot. I, that is a natural ability of mine. I can understand uh, beasts. He's complaining about the grass. Yeah, you know, it sort of happens when all the life force gets stolen from everything. <laughs> he, he's going to look at you, Poe, and he's going to snort again and say. Master have job for all of you. <laughs> and then he's going to sidestep, revealing the little gnome mayor next to him. Oh, I'd recognize the mayor. I was just going to say, I didn't so, realize yep, death was a midget. You recognize him. He's, death he's a is a midget. Oh. No, he's, uh, the, the gnome kind of steps out from the area that the horse stepped away from and walks towards the rest of you. And he says, Ugh, I, I do apologize for dragging all of you into this. I'm sorry it's come to this, though. What is this? Uh, I Good needed, question. I needed help, so I sent for help. And, well, you, you all answered. Okay, but what is this? Oh, this is a this is a terrible, terrible place. It's a full of horrors. I, they made me do such terrible things. Such I, as? Oh, well, you're really gonna make me <laughs> go through all that right now? Yes. Uh, yes. You, you, you know the the whole. The whole area is expanding, right? Yeah, and that's exactly why we need yeah. to know what's going on and what you did. Information is so that we powerful. can stop it. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll, I'll have to start from the, the beginning then. Uh, Just okay. hit the highlight, the key points. Yeah, yeah this is going to be the Cliff Notes version because if we don't hurry, then you're not going to be able to stop the end. Yep. Nice. <laughs> So five years ago, uh, that's the cliff notes. <laughs> my my little town here, Sanford. We were just a a peaceful little village, and one day the the sky opened up above us, and it swallowed everything. There was a a cult of a dead god trying to bring back their lord with by sacrificing the villagers. And they created a giant circle around Sanford, sacrificed everybody in the village, except for me. Everyone's gone. But it wasn't enough, you see. They only partially brought back their lord. They needed more. They needed purer souls. So they decided to keep up the front of this town and they made me a figurehead mayor just in case random strangers ever happened upon us. They made me lie to so many people and all those people got sacrificed too. But you see, the, they need the souls of children, you see. Those are the purest ones. This is terrible. We we need to we need to stop it. Yes, we do. 
a quick, quick, quick question. Is everything in this sphere that is inactive, are their souls gone? No. I'm, I'm afraid they are at the moment. At the moment, that means they can be brought back, yes? They haven't been, they likely haven't All right. been consumed yet. <laughs> Alright, uh, at the, the moment that's going, fuck it, I'm going, no, <laughs> no. But, Where did this, oh, sorry. I'm sorry, there, there's a, a well at the center of town, under the church. It leads, it leads to their master. We, we have to. We have to stop the ritual, stop the flow of food, so that they can't resurrect their lord. We can do that. Yeah, I had to. He kind of like motions to his hand, and he sticks his own other hand through his right hand to kind of show that he there's nothing to his body anymore. He's like, I had to... Uh, make a deal with death so that I could save my people. Oh, so that was like the letter he had us bring you, right? Yes. He told me the only way I'd be able to help is if I was dead. That's kind of like unfortunate. Yeah, and... Re, I don't know if you'd recall this, but you remember the body. <laughs> you, you also, also remember what that. happened to the body. Re, I'm going to pull out my notepad and write down, there's a doppelganger of the mayor now. Sick. Ma mayor's body's still moving. Alright, that's not good. So wait, like, if the only thing in town right now are the bad things... Couldn't we just, like, blow up the whole town? I don't have anything able to do that, do you? I mean... Working on it. We can either figure that out. If not, we have magic. Well, everything in town that you see is just... Oh, excuse me. Is, uh... Mostly just a well-fabricated recreation of what the town looked like at the moment. Most of the actual town has been swallowed up by the void. So the town's been here all along. Mm, or did this town come from somewhere else? Not quite. You, you see, Sanford, I'm not sure where the rest of you are all from, but Sanford used to be rooted on a plane called Midgard. But since... It got swallowed up. It seems to have connections to all of the planes now. The different passageways all seem to lead to the same main road to the south. To the south? Yes. And what's to the south? Oh, the road out of here. Gotcha. But, like, what's the road to the north lead to, then? Mm. The road we're on. Yeah. The road to the north, well, if you traveled north long enough, you would reach nothing. It would be the end of the sphere of influence. That, like, doesn't make sense, because the, the creepy dude sent out two carts, and one went south, and one went north, and they all came back with shit. So, like, the north's got to lead somewhere. Well, I've never been that far north. So I couldn't tell you. You don't know where all these... I forget what it is. What different reagents have been coming from? Oh, they've been stealing them from nearby towns. Well, not really nearby, but near where the exits lead. So if I understand this, technically speaking, we're not on the material plane. No, I believe Sanford's in the Astral Sea at the moment. What the fuck? Uh, oh, nice. no. I oh, didn't think I'd add plane hopping onto my interior, you know? I probably should have, like, brought sunscreen or something. Leon, is any of this that he said unlocking anything in my brain? 
Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Saving throw. Saving throw. Saving throw. Nice. Uh, come on. That's not anything I <laughs> set myself up to use. I mean, if it unlocks stuff, there might be consequences. Ah, yeah, that's high enough. You're not going to suffer any manias. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, as he's telling you some of this, you are going to remember bits and pieces of that one fateful night. You... I'm probably going to take you to the super secret DM chat for this so I don't give away too much else. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. Ah. I'm okay. just here to watch. Yeah. <laughs> So you remember that when you were sent to investigate those anomalies, you recall seeing a rift open up in the sky. And a section of the road and farmland and the surrounding countryside just got sucked into a void. And the the surrounding wildlife and people that got touched by this void began to mutate into the horrendous creatures that you have been fighting thus far. Those creepy six-armed... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they began to attack you and your party. Some of your very party got touched by the void and transformed as well, and you were forced to kill them. Ouch. Some of them being long-time friends and comrades. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what has caused the mental break that you've suffered. Gotcha. Awesome. (laughs) Yeah. Um, You... With this you can surmise that all of the entities that you have encountered in the town that are these weird creatures likely at one point were regular people. Okay. They may still have those people's memories. You don't know. Gotcha. Okay. Do I think like killing whoever is the big bad guy closing the gate will restore anything? Uh, You don't know. Okay. But that seems like a reasonable hypothesis. Okay. The... um, Rinya said something about blowing the town up, and then the the mayor seemed to be, like, on board. Like, that's a thing that we could do. Yeah. Well, he did say that the well deep under the church is currently the siphon that is being used to feed the dead god souls. All right, so do I think caving that in ultimately could close this? It seems like a reasonable plan. You think probably that's one of your best options at the point, at the moment? Okay. All right, we can jump back into the regular chat because I think that's... Okay. Unless, yeah, I think that's pretty much enough of... Yeah, we'll go back to regular chat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget your. Yeah, I'm turning it back on now. Like I said, normal average Thursday. You know, everything's grayscale. The fate of the world having to save countless, <laughs> un- countless children's souls, kill a demon lord. Normal Thursday. <laughs> All right, so if we can find some way to kill said demon lord, and yeah, oh, this yep. ritual. Big if, by the way. Yeah. The, uh, nobody's said it's a demon lord. I'm just following what he said. We're, okay. uh, listen, we're dealing with a lot of demons. I'm just gonna assume it's a demon lord. Okay. Well, one of the people who has a key bit of information on that front is missing from the party. So. Yeah, and. Um, you know. I will go ahead, I guess, and jump in and role play that out for you, um, because it is key information that has actually, been to the best so far. I, I think Alphonse actually might have said something about... He didn't go into detail, really, but it's, he said It's that, not Alphonse. <laughs> uh, Alphonse. I know Alphonse said something about fucking 
the what's her face's patron has a vicious patron has a big stake in the fate of this town yep. as you said yep that that part's important also um so sadie oh would yeah be, would be able to tell you that through her brain booger she learned that there are three forces in this town vying for favor they are all rival factions of course and they all have the same end goal in mind but they don't want the others to basically get into favor over top of them her little brain booger was extremely satisfied when you guys killed some of those creatures earlier <laughs> we just got put into the middle of a gang war let's go <laughs> If I remember correctly, there was something about like a map that had yeah. No, we colors. had the we knew that there was three different factions, but we didn't know if yeah. they were all working together, separate, or anything. We just knew there okay. was three. So now we know they're separate. Which one? Well, they're separate. There's only one members. that's that's at the church or whatever. That, no, well, that's that's where they all converge. That's where they all converge. Yeah. Okay, is that where the well is? The church. The well, the well is under the church. Yes. What okay. a shock. So, like, if we just roll up, are we gonna just like stumble upon a gang war? <laughs> I feel like that'd be fucking hilarious. It's just like Little Trouble in China. Just it's not. It, there. It's not particularly open war for open warfare amongst them. At least it hasn't been yet. They are all working towards the same end goal, but they all want to be number one as opposed to the other two. So in that case, I see two different ways of playing this. Number they one, could totally like turn it against each other, like exactly. college girls. Number one we do the political game here and try to incite violent, open violence between them, or number two, be classic adventurers and just run in there and pray to God that we win. I mean, we could run in there, try to do the first part. Fail then, horribly, fail, and go, then do the second option part. Option B, yeah. yeah. All right. What's plan C? Plan C? We'll figure it out if plan B fails. When plan B fails. There you go. There you go. So... Since we are down three people tonight, might I suggest you use tonight's session to acquire necessary supplies? Is is yeah. that God telling us not to run headlong right now? Oh, I'm not running. If you want to run in, go for it. I will yeah, not follow you. Yeah, you guys do whatever you want. I'm just I'm you... a fucking cripple right now. I'm not running anywhere. Right, if you want to hobble in there, I'm not following you. <laughs> Trust me. I, I mean, what 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 else can we really do? Like, what what can, what does anyone have any way to kind of get resources right right now? Well, yeah, that's kind of the plan because I know Fennel needs his staff and oh well, yeah, break, break needs the uh, Logan yep. and I so have some things I want to get. So for this session, we should just basically do guerrilla warfare, sneak into the town, take, only fight you know key kind of areas, and uh, raid. Yeah, that's that's All the right. plan. We yep. need to hit up the blacksmith and magic shop area to get uh, the items. Try to go to Riker's office. There was something about a vault in there, I believe. So that's a couple good things or two in there. Yeah, I would go there after. Yeah, of course, that should be one of the last things we hit because we kind of need all our things back first. Yeah, is that how's that sound, to everyone else? I mean, I don't have any better plans. So sounds good to me. Sounds it's good to me. Havoc. Alrighty. I don't. But yeah. Sounds good. I yeah I uh I gotta get me some some things anyways so. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Hear the uh, Mission Impossible theme go off. <laughs> And I'm, I must say, if I die, I would have loved to die with another group of people. <laughs> I'm sure we can arrange that. I can name several I other mean, people I would have died like with. There's like a bunch of demons in the town if you want to die with them. I mean, I'm probably going to end up dying with them. So, you know. Well, there you go, then. I know. You just kind of, like, look on the bright side. 
<laughs> Trust me, I'm trying. I've just been given the information that my wife and children's soul has been taken away and is almost about to be eaten. Yep. It's, you know... Don't worry, it's just sautéing right now. It's not... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just in the process of being cooked, you know? As long as they, like, haven't actually eaten it yet, we're still gold. I'm curious yeah. that none of you have had your souls taken. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I've been trying to... You might have a soul. Why, like, why, why is, why was Alphonse, like, the only child that was kidnapped and not having their soul, like, soul stolen? I'm still wondering that. Curiouser and curiouser. Too bad he's not here to try to gleam information out of. Alright, so, rather than move all these figurines around for no one, or, until you get caught, I won't bother putting them down. <laughs> there you go, until... <laughs> You mean if? Come on, have some faith. Alright, so you guys make it back to the main bridge. The gate is now wide open. And there is just a stillness in the air around you. It's still super thick. In fact, the closer you've gotten towards town, the thicker that air seems to be. It's like trying to breathe in a heavy fog now. I'm just getting Mornland vibes out of this, just so you know. <laughs> That's all. That's all I'm thinking of. <laughs> I mean, there's no shards of glassy crystal. Yeah, we we don't we don't have a giant hole in this. I mean, actually, kind of, we do have a giant hole in the center that leads to a dead god. <laughs> I feel like maybe you got a little traumatized by that there. Uh... Uh, maybe. Maybe killing thousands of people on accident and having my whole reality shattered in front of me has left some some something on me, you know? Not if you did it on purpose, that would have been totally different. Yeah, it was accidental right. murder. I'm going to need <laughs> stealth checks from all of you. Uh, I'm going to Great. wild shape into a rat. <laughs> the uh, mayor and Binky are also accompanying you. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. Roll, stealth. Be Roll stealth. Roll stealth. Come on. Have we left? Have we left the mayor just yet? We haven't started. No, he's no, he's the, coming. The mayor he's is coming, us. coming with you. Yep. Oh, okay. You guys, every time Re takes a step, you hear the shimmy of scale mail, and oh, my wow. scale mail is very wind chimey and made up of actual scales of like snakes and oh, fish. God. I, I'll, Is I'll, this where I wrestled the chip bag really loud, Mike? I want to telepathically speak to Reed. Just going. Can you turn down your armor? Can Can you turn it down? Just a bit. Wait, why does it say two? Three. My dice was a twelve on my screen. <laughs> it happens. Trust me, I've had that same exact thing happen with Dway, and you kind of just got to roll with it. Yeah, it's done that to me. Before. If you once you're level eleven, it doesn't really matter. You're a rogue. You have yeah. reliable talent, but you're yeah, not well, level I'm not, eleven. Yeah. So. All right. Well, he has a group stealth check. You all did nice. terribly. Let's go. I'm a rat, by the way. Just so you know, <laughs> I'm a rat. You, lucky for you, there's nobody at the gate yet. So you're going to manage to proceed a little ways into town. Can I whisper to the mayor? I want to talk to him as we're sort of moving stealthily, but as a whisper. Sure. I want to ask him if he knows Aster Renoir, who is the governor of where I come from. I've, uh, I've never heard of him. Okay. Then how did you send out help? Who did you speak to? Ah, you see, that, uh, that was part of my bargain with death. He let me send out letters for extra guard and he told me that he'd try to find capable heroes to free the town to it was at, us, the, capable at the cost heroes. of uh, an early death for me though okay um i don't know why but i'm gonna inside him <laughs> go ahead He is telling you the truth. At least he believes to be the truth. Okay. Because that's who sent me. So. Oh. 
I mean, death has friends in high places. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> death, death thinks you're a capable hero. Think of that. Yeah, death yeah. is one of those people who, like, kind of knows everybody. You know, death, death is that very supportive mom right now. <laughs> right, right. We he, um constant faith in you. If I remember correctly, like, there's no record of Sanford before five years ago. Correct. Which makes sense because it didn't exist before five years ago. Yep. But it, it, did it seem to be? Do I remember this correctly? Where it just like how did our records just start? Like all of a sudden, a record just says a town appeared, or the the records you keep there made no mention of Sanford prior to five years ago. But after five years, they suddenly began to speak of Sanford as though it had always been there. Right. That's what I'm... It's the people who were making the records who were influenced as opposed to the records themselves. Didn't didn't right. the mayor say that Sanford existed beforehand? It's just that it got yeah. demolished and taken over. So Sanford, Sanford did not exist. It, Sanford exists on Midgard. Right. Which is oh, a different place. right. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. And then it kind of just got f yeah. sent here. Yeah. Right. I got I remember something, that. some force, you reckon, that is rewriting the memories of the people in the towns where it chooses to manifest nearby, making them think that the town has always existed there. Right. That's what I'm trying to piece together here. Yeah. So it's more so the magic is probably or whatever is influencing them as opposed to actually we don't have a mole in our yeah. midst. Yeah, there's, it's it's not so much a mole, more as a, a broad range effect that is altering people's minds. Okay. One might assume Sick. it might be some kind of means of drawing more souls in if they think it's a friendly town <laughs> that never has crime. Basically, right, right. it's a trap, okay. you know? Yeah, okay, cool. I That's mean, what I wanted to figure so out. I mean, that's why Poe came here. <laughs> I mean, legitimate. Hey, it worked. It worked one fucking time, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> so, quick question: When Sadie kind of gave us the information, did she specify kind of who the three um, oh yeah no. factions were? Um. Yes. To to oh, excuse me. To her knowledge, she knows that the oozes were one. All right, we got one for one so far. The other one appears to, she assumes, she didn't get this information from the ooze, but she got it from, based on seeing that there's a lot of demons around. There appear to be a lot of infernal forces at work here as well. And there are a lot of uh, abomination. Like, um, astrological it? abominations. Uh, would you classify those as aberrations? Yes, aberrations. So we are three for three, baby! Right. Let's go! We guess the factions! Okay, so there's the oozes, which I don't know where those came from. The Inferno influence is coming from, is it Visha? I believe so, it's coming from Yeah, that's coming from, from her. From all we can tell, yeah. The Actually, aberration... Oh. So, none of you were in the cave with Alphonse when this conversation happened, so I should... I feel like I need to stand in, because... He would have been. I would he, hope he, he would he inform did, you this. He, okay. he did tell us something. So, Visha, her patron, made a deal with her, or the deal she made with her patron was to retrieve her children back from the town. But her patron is not necessarily the same infernal force that is here. Right, yeah, okay, yeah, no, I remember, we talked about that yesterday, or okay. last time, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In, in fact, the two the two demons you guys have managed to actually kill <laughs> already were lieutenants of a very specific demon who none of you got the name of. <laughs> well, yeah, we were under the assumption I mean, that Riker were for the patron. Mm. Yep. All right, so... Well, I mean, we have the factions, but we have no idea who's what, you know, really? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We still need to kill... To Wait, end listen. This. We need to kill all three anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out, so... Okay. We can keep, keep going. <laughs> three! And I hold up a little thing that says, Church real bad, guys! Yeah, that's... We're, we figured we're that out that. already, yeah. We're, we're gonna <laughs> get there. So you all managed to cross the bridge without making... 
any ruckus simply due to the fact that you were lucky that nobody was at the bridge. Hey. And, and I'm a rat. I'm just really hammering in that point, just in case. You know. As you continue on to the well, I'll need another group stealth check. Better? Ooh, that's not bad. Okay. You're very stealthy right now. Because you, you realize no, no, you're... Not. Oh, God. Well, everybody but the frog is really stealthy, and the frog just gets harsh looks, and they just tell you to get on Binky's back. <laughs> Again, telepathically speaking, turn down the armor! <laughs> oh, Binky's coming with us, okay. Yeah, Binky and the mayor are both coming with you. Gotcha. Weirdly enough, Binky makes no sound while moving. He is, not... he is death's horse. Uh, nor does the mayor, because, you know, he's not really there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't collide with anything if you don't technically exist in the material plane. Yep. You are you begin to approach the mayor's house, at which point you get to the mayor's house and he's like, uh, uh hold on one moment. Uh I think I need to get something. Get what? Uh, you you all might need this. Okay. He he kind of passes through his door. <laughs> Uh, even, I mean, at least he's civilized enough to still use a door as a ghost, so, you know, respect. I mean, he didn't use the door, he just walked through it. Yeah, but he still uses the entryway. He didn't, go he didn't just wall. go through a wall, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. He has the respect he'll, you know, still understand what a door is. <laughs> After a few moments, he, you hear the door handle on the other side open. And out comes the mayor, and he is holding a map. Mage hand, you like? He he, hand, he lets the hand take it. He's like, yeah, this is a a map to Sanford. Um, it's got a got the weird tunnel system mapped out on it. Don't ask me how long it took me to do that, but I've been trying to keep track of all the changes they made to my town. In case one day I could give it to. You know, somebody help save him. Save it. He begins to break down a little <laughs> as he realizes how horrible of a situation this is becoming. <laughs> so, uh, man, fucking is going to attempt to pat him on the head and like struggle your, to reach for a minute. Your, your hand just goes through his head. We have, to, we have to save the world. What kind of heroes do we need to get? C Town's God, let's go. <laughs> the most. Capable of heroes. Town's God. How do I console a spirit? <laughs> Are any of you clerics? I'm a druid. I'm a drunk. I'm a, I'm a cleric of earth. <laughs> I'm a cleric of the earth, so... <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so, John, you've got a map now. Sweet. The map shows the network of tunnels from all those holes that you saw littered around the buildings. You see these, these tunnels here over on the southern side of town? They all lead back to the well. It's what the, the ab abominations use to spirit away visitors to our town. They'd usually wait until they went to sleep at night and then they'd go harvest their souls and bring them down. Nice. Those are those giant spider-looking things? Yes. Horrifying, aren't they? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Sure. Okay, well, this will help get us there. How are we going to get through those holes without drowning? <laughs> yeah, are they all oh, covered in, or all filled with water? Uh... uh... Sorry, the, the frog's excited. I just scribble in my on. notebook. Can breathe water. Okay. Good you can you. or everybody can. They, they, they oh, are. Me. There you go. So They are filled with water, but I, I have to tell you, the water's not real. <laughs> I mean, it confines to my shape water. We tested this like day one. It's it's true, but none, none of this is real. It, it'll still obey the natural <laughs> laws of magic if you try to use it. I hate High level illusion shit like but, this. But but like he, he goes over and he passes his hand through one of these trees. 
buddy, you're a ghost. You can do that normally. I'm a ghost, but so is that tree. <laughs> that tree, it's solid to you, but it's not really there. Reason is like, like jump at the tree. Is true or not? This, yeah, that doesn't prove anything. You're a fucking ghost. You can already pass through it. I, I realize this, but I mean, it's not... I can see, because I have true sight now that I'm dead, but it, look, there's, it's not a real tree. <laughs> Reed jumps into the tree. You hit the tree, roll. <laughs> look what you, look what you did to the frog. You just confine our whole roll. reality on how everything's <laughs> technically illusion. Reality is only a concept based by person to person. You can't do this shit to us, man. <laughs> All telepathic, by the way. <laughs> you take two damage, Reed. Okay. From can I like, into the tree. Can I like pull like some neo stuff and just like. Use there is no to, to try Believe. and focus my mind to see actually, if I can patch my hand through it. Actually, roll me an intelligence check. Oh my fucking god. Just straight intelligence or insider investigation? We're going to roll straight intelligence. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, there it worked no for the frog. frog. You got to make the no. realization that there is no spoon. Mm. You, you, you touch. touch the tree, it feels solid to you. But you, you, you think, like, again... The mayor seems to be telling you the truth. All right, fine. I want to test the tree. I want. I want to do this shit. Roll an intelligence check. You're like a druid. You can. Walk I know exactly. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, fourteen. So, Poe, you feel the tree, and you don't sense any life from it. It's a. It okay. It looks alive. Smells. Sorry, doesn't smell alive. Doesn't taste alive. It looks alive. Doesn't exist. Yeah, John, <laughs> John, I'll let you nature. roll an Arcana check if you want. According to that's nature, it's not, not my thing. Like, can I investigate it? <laughs> uh, well, you can investigate the tree all you want. It's, ah. a, it's a tree. Come on. It's a very detailed tree. <laughs> it's a very nice right. tree. Is gonna go. pop the ring. Yep. yep. Oh, there, okay. So, this, if what that gnome is saying, this is some extremely high level illusion magic that has. Managed to actually manifest a tree. Is Such for a all intents and purposes, this this tree exists through sheer will alone. You ever cast an illusion spell so intense that you accidentally, accidentally do a, a conjuration instead? You know, happens all the time. All right. Well, that doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. level. Who needs an illusion in like a different plane of existence? You know. <laughs> so like, if we just spell it, will it actually go away? Mm, good question. I mean, I could try. I've already Maybe used spell magic mirror. once. Oh, uh, it might work. I've already tested a dispel magic earlier. I want my spell slots. Thank you. I don't know if any of us are high enough level to do that. Uh, you, I mean, you te you can you just have to have access to third level spell slots just by how dispel magic works. But if it's such an intense illusion that it actively works as everything besides I detect that it's not nature, I don't think I can feasibly roll <laughs> high enough to dispel I mean, it. I could hit it with a fourth level dispel magic. Wow. <laughs> no, sorry, fifth fifth level. What? I don't think this spell's a fifth level spell or lower. I mean, it doesn't necessarily. It just automatically works if it's fifth or lower. I get to roll for it if it's higher. Yeah, the DC yeah, but is it, 10 but plus that, the spell level. Yeah, exactly. But that's why I'm saying I don't think it's more feasibly high enough level of. It's such an intense illusion spell that it is effectively actual reality. So it's probably not a one to nine spell. I mean, we can test it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna burn my spell slot on it. You guys gonna keep moving, or are you gonna try and I mean... disintegrate a tree? Yeah, Fennel's gonna start heading towards the store. Okay. Yep. Moving on. Group stealth check. The the gnome, the mayor, is gonna uh, recommend that. Okay. As you guys are now approaching the church. My garbage at this. Guys. <laughs> As you guys are now approaching the intersection with the church, the mayor is going to recommend that you cut through some backyards instead of taking the main road. Yeah. 
Alright. Just crouch. Yeah. It's simple. Man. It's, it's, it's simple. So I'm whisper, a rat, by the way. Whisper and Poe, you're you're carrying these people with your group stealth check right now. Oh, that was that, that was on the fence. You guys are gonna get caught before you get there. I just know that. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the, the question is where exactly, and how fucked. And how smart is whatever catches us? Exactly. Right. If Why can't you let me shenanigan this by myself? God damn it. <laughs> right. I mean, nobody had done any. So I was trying to actively do that. I need I need perception. I was check. busy that day. Perception, perception. check from everybody. It was almost a nat twenty. I'm pissed. Do I still get an advantage? Oh my god, dude! I hear you. Guys, passive. just roll uh, good. It's that's high enough where you're gonna notice. So there is a big thing that you guys all assumed previously was just like a work of art structure in the town that uh, it's moving. Oh god! Mm. <laughs> it is a giant looks like it's an amalgamation of stone and trees and brick. So Like well, a giant it's, golem. It's a golem. Yeah. Like a yeah. brick treehouse. Yeah. yeah, basically. It's got a furnace on the inside which uh you thought it looked like a cutesy little house before. Now that uh, you're in town and things aren't really trying to hide themselves anymore, it's moving around. <laughs> and you guys are trying to sneak behind it through the field and those rocks over here by the trees. Oh, goody. So give me, oh. <laughs> give me a group stealth check. Guys, guys. You can please. make it by this thing. Please. Roll fine. Just roll adequate. I feel like Re at this point feels like they should get naked. I I know I said roll adequate. <laughs> I understand what I said. <laughs> I understand perfectly what I said. Huh? That's two above. Oh, nice. Listen, see, okay. uh, thank you guys. As a group well, check, you succeed. It. You sneak by this thing through the bushes and the rocks, and it does not notice you. But you are now aware that it's there. It appears to be standing guard. Where is it exactly? It's by the church. It's near the church and the guardhouse. Okay. A it's nice right next to each other. You know. Okay. If my mouse would stop dying on me, I would rotate the camera. Every time you rotate the camera, it goes blurry for a bit. Just FYI. Oh, good to know. Ah, there we go. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Right here is this guardhouse. Top left. The church right here. And the golem is looking right at the church. Now, are we trying to make our way to the uh, blacksmith? That big store, yeah. 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 We're, we're gonna. I think the path is more or less the blacksmith, and all the ta all the shops around there hit the vault in the in uh, Riker's office, and then figure it out from there. All right. So one more group stealth check to see about the transition to the southern part of town. Guys, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Listen. <laughs> this is it. Ooh. This is why I said I'm a what? rat. Oh, thank I'm God I didn't suck so bad. I'm a rat. I'm a you. tiny it's creature. You. No. I mean, it's still good, but... It's... Uh, I am a tiny good. creature. One second while I average these out on my calculator. <laughs> we're gonna have to use... It's like we're, we're all trying to be stealthy and post it, and they're like, shh! You gotta be quiet. I'm a, I'm a rat. I'm a rat. I don't make much noise. I've been just using tele telepathic. Around. I've been using my telepathy all this time, cause my brain's special, because I got hit a lot. I was really good at the start there, and then you know, the 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 volume on the armor got to me. You guys are so lucky. Let's go. That it was a 10.8 is your average. <laughs> we round up in this house. Rounding up to 11. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> you make it to the southern part of town.
All right, coming up on your left is the uh, the bar. You guys, I need a perception check from Re, Whisper, and I guess that's it for right now. Not twenty, baby. You get advantage, by the way, Re. Already a nat twenty. No, I, I don't. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna get better than that twenty. Sorry. Can I take that advantage instead? Damn. <laughs> so, uh, I don't get advantage when it comes to perception. Re and Whisper. In whisper, you hear chittering spider clacky noises off in the distance. Green. What direction? They seem to be coming around the sides of the buildings. All right, I will namesake that to everyone. Sick. Re nods and affirmation. Are we near the entrance of the bar? The bar is up ahead on your left, yep. I think that's the next building we're going to come across. Yep. Got to get in there, too. Why do you have to get in there? All right, you guys are at the entrance to the bar now. The crossroads to three there. You can go into the bar or you can turn right to go to the shops. All right, we're almost to the shops, so... Gonna head to the shops? Okay, roll me stealth checks. Fuck. Come on. Oh, I had good rolls for a bit. Now, right? now that I hear chittering, <laughs> and seeing two rolls already... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, four, God. Okay, now that I hear shit right now, <laughs> oh, Yo! God. Can I have... Uh, uh, nat 20? Nat 20? Come on! To, I'm gonna try, but also, can I have Peer do some sort of, like... Distraction? Distraction. Yes. <laughs> um, to help help some help us out somehow? Yeah. Also, let me roll. Not, oh, not that funny. We well. should have gone into the bar. Give me a performance check, I guess, from your bird. Performance? <laughs> <laughs> Turned to be a distraction. Uh, How but... long are you guys going to need in that truck? <laughs> okay, I'll roll with my minus two charisma. Uh, oh no. Uh, does hey. Wall of Fire start fires? 13. Yep. Well. <sighs> I mean. No, it's too bad. <laughs> They're all bad. <laughs> We're I'm going to say guys. it's definitely going to draw the attention of some. Okay, we can at least lessen the fight a little bit. Yeah, so your, your bird is going to fly off towards, we'll say, the inn. Yeah. On the opposite side and start caca caca tuki tuki. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to see some shadowy, spidery bodies lunging off of the roof up into the air, attempting to slash at your bird, but missing. Okay. But uh, as you guys come close to the mana or the, the uh, excuse me the the um, ma the magic shop, yeah, you see staring back at you through the window one of the spider monstrosities in the shop. In the shop. In the shop. And it is going to let out a screech. Upon noticing you. Time to speed run to going through the town. <laughs> I mean, kind of a dumb question, but uh, I don't suppose we could try to talk to it. I mean... Yeah, you can talk to those. We right? can attempt. I mean, can you summon... I think, I think theoretically... 
Speak common, right? I Can you so. guys speak Abyssal? Uh, uh, does it understand any other language besides Abyssal? It understands them, yes. I can speak with it telepathically. <laughs> <laughs> so, upon realizing the situation we're in, it's just gonna go, Hi? <laughs> to its mind, of course. You get a scream back in your mind. I, in theory, would understand it, because it is telepathic, so is it just it, a general scream? It was not scream? trying to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was just a general... Uh, <laughs> then I'll just uh, turn back to everyone and go, they're not going to talk to us. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think, uh, I think Rini is going to try her luck anyway. <laughs> okay. So she, she's going to, like, wave it. Hey, so, like, how's the gang war going? Are you guys winning or losing? We're going to be rolling initiative. Yeah, uh, just <laughs> just as a heads up, I'm going to take it that Fennel and Whisper should sneak into that shop and get their shit right now. I mean, yeah, if you want to fuck with the spiders, then I can certainly sneak away and do other things. Yeah, no, I'd recommend it, because, you know, we kind of already broke in stealth. We need to get our thing. We need to get the things. Go regroup. Come up with a plan of attack. Kind of hard to come up with a plan of attack when you're dead, but you know. Crap, I'm going the wrong way. Just a, a roll above 10 today would be sick. Right? Okay, so Whisper, you're up first. Hey, at least well, you're second in the initiative. You mean he wants me to sneak into the shop, so... Right now, the spider creature is standing in the doorway. <laughs> listen, listen. We're, we're about ten seconds away from like a spider hell raining down upon us. Just well, get your shit. Is there? I mean, are there windows? <laughs> yes, there are. There are two windows on either side of the door. I mean, not near the spider. Are there windows in the back? Did I remember seeing those anywhere? Side back, um, the like sides that. and backs of this building do not have windows. There God. is there is a chimney. I'm not Santa Claus. <laughs> I mean, Ree and uh, the fairy were. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> not my turn yet, but I'll probably repeat. Repeat. Oh, if you can repeat. fit. I I've done this before. <sighs> Well, I mean, it's standing right in the doorway, of course. I mean, it wasn't. It was in front of a window, but then they tried to talk to it, and it began running towards the door. Hence, initiative starts. Can I? <laughs> can I just like crouch down next to the doorway and just try to hide there? Until it goes past, and I can duck in. Uh, sure. So I feel like it's going to charge out. Yeah, you you get definitely get the sense that it's about to be out that door in just a second. All right. All right. So, so you duck down next to the door. Um, if you want, I'll let you hold. Let's well, say you can hold your action for the rest of your movement after it gets out the door. Okay. Stealth check. Yep. Stealth check, please. Well, it's a low DC, so it's it, it's more focused on everybody else right now. That's it's talking to it. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next up is Fennel. What are you going to do, buddy? All right, so do I see this thing? Yep. How tall is the roof? 
The roof is about 10 feet off the ground. Oh, dope. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sweet, I'm just going to hop up on the roof. Okay. So it's about 10 feet up, right? Yep. Oh, I've only got five feet reach. I could throw a dart. All right, I'm going to ready an action where I see that thing bolts out. I want to throw a dart at it. Can I do that? Uh, Sure. All right, so if that's if you're holding your action to throw a dart, re you're up next. So we're not just outright attacking the thing. Well, it hasn't. Oh. I, I think that's the plan, but it hasn't gotten to its turn yet. I mean, that's on you. I'm my. It's a it's a spider bigger than me. I'm getting on the roof. Ah, <laughs> uh, good point. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna hop up too. Okay, roll your jump. I don't. I don't even know what is my jump die. It's uh, you roll with your strength modifier. Ah, okay. If you have any extra bonuses for being a frog, then that would be what you'd use. No. Yeah, yeah, you, you make it up on the roof. Uh, and I'm assuming I can't see it from here, but it's not there anymore. A... There's a chimney, right? There's a chimney, yes. All right, I'm making a break for the chimney. All right, uh, how much movement you still got after you jumped? Uh, you took half my. Well, I don't know how much was it to get up. It's ten feet. So I have twenty feet left. Okay. And I think I'll use my dash as my action. Okay. If you use your dash, you can get down the chimney. Okay. Are you, are you trying, trying to be slow? Or are you just going to jump down? I'm trying to be... Stealthy. Okay. Roll me a stealth check now. That's uh, a good joke. I also need a... Uh, what's that? It's not athletics. It's uh, acrobatics. acrobatics. Check. Okay. Yep, yep. Right, you are stealthy as you go down the chimney, uh, and with your acrobatics, you manage to. You remember that your slippery frog skin is slippery, and you manage to brace yourself on the way down so that you don't just shoot down like a torpedo, and you slide down to the bottom of the chimney. I'd say you still got about probably ten feet of movement left. All right, I'm gonna dart out of the chimney and get behind one of those tables for cover. And I think that's all I got. I'm hiding okay. though. Alrighty, so it is now its turn. It is going to rush out the door. Oh, I didn't put Rinia, that's what I was missing. Almost made you a camel. I mean, sure, why not? Yeah, I was like, do it. <laughs> Ooh, new polymorph options for the other game. <laughs> I gotta say, Dire Chihuahua's been my favorite. To make it easier for you guys to see, I'm gonna turn new torches on. Yo, Lighten, let's go. There we go. Okay, so Big Spider thing comes out and it rushes at the horse. Uh, after it gets its turn, everybody's held actions will trigger. Cool. It is swinging. That's the horse. Does a 15 hit? Horse as in Rin Rinya or horse as in Binky? As in Rinya. Sorry. Not Binky. Oh, I gotta put Binky down too. Uh, let's see. 15, is it? Okay, yeah. Uh, hit. Either one, it hits. Okay, I need a constitution saving throw from you. Although, oh, shit. this one might not have been updated since I was level 5. 
I was mostly using the barbarian one for something else. Um, okay, constitution saving? Yep. Uh, quick question. Is this a spell? It is not a spell. Okay, no, never mind. Twelve, you fail. Oh. Is this like a hit, hit, use a luck oh. point situation? Oh. Oh, do you have a luck point? I picked lucky. I have three luck points every day. Yo, <laughs> might want to consider that. Or I suffer a paralyzer. Use all three, come on. Use all three! Let's go! Me. Hey, if you fail all three, you know it's meant to be. Uh, okay, well, I guess specifically which half is this hitting? Uh, it's going for your face. Yeah, you got a built in backup character. Don't worry okay. about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. Just, she'll, she'll take it. Okay. Is it Actually, fine though? Is it fine? Though? Am I your only healer? No, you have I, two no, druids. I, I'm a healer. We have two druids, both You're healers. Fine. We're fine. You're... I don't have lesser or greater restoration, just so you know. You take 17 damage, and your maximum hit points are permanently reduced by 17. You're fucked. No. You're fucked. I, I, I can't do much there. Permanently. They yeah. are reduced until she can either get a long rest or have somebody cast Greater Restoration. Basically, think of it this way. Just right now, she didn't take 17 damage. Really, she didn't take any damage as Did of this ever moment. Curse? Uh, oh, ooh, wait, let me check, let me check. Either Greater Restoration or Remove Curse. What level is Remove Curse? Um, I feel like four? I can't remember. Well, I don't remember restoration though. is two. So I feel like it's probably two. I've it's, got it's lesser greater. restoration and revivify. Hi. It has to be the greater restoration or remove curse. Lesser ain't gonna touch. Okay. Yeah. Uh I don't have remove curse, and I don't think it's a spell druids can learn. But you <laughs> or... are now down permanently seventeen hit points until you get a long rest. But... It's it's a third level spell. Oh, maybe let me check again. I did kind of just. I don't remember if druids level. get remove curse or not. That, that's that's why I'm gonna check. Paladin thing. They do, and wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, closest thing that I think we get is the spell magic. Yeah, no, I don't have it. Okie dokie. Yeah, they don't get it. They don't have a no one here? What the hell? Oh, wow. Cleric, Paladin, Warlock, and Wizard spell. Damn. Okay, so, um... Yeah, so you took 17 and stuff. Uh, everybody's held actions can now trigger. Zoom inside that really? building. So you're zooming in. Where are you moving to, Whisper? Uh, I mean, I want to go in the building, and I just... I mean, I have a list of things I know I need to get to do what I want to do, so... Alright, roll me a investigation check. At advantage, since you already know what you're looking for. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Oh, damn! You immediately spot everything on your list. And you just start shoving your bag full of shit. Yeah, yeah, as fast as I go. I got a mage hand putting yeah. stuff in there, too. Three hands. <laughs> Does your list include a staff? <laughs> <laughs> that's for you, yeah. Yep, I know I need to get that from you. Or was that at the blacksmith? Where, where are we at? You are at the magic shop right now. The, the staff's at the blacksmith. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. while you're in there, just clear the whole fucking place out. Just grab everything you can see. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't have enough room in his bag for all No, this no. Room. Have the mage hand carry some. <laughs> you can yeah. carry, I think, Stuff 10 pounds. Your shirt. No, get There's... creative. You're a rogue. Tighten your cloak. 
Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Like, I, were there potions and stuff here? Right. Yep, there are potions here. All right, I'm because there's going to be like an invisible potion trailing behind me with my mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure out what potion that is because I know you had a list. Yep, yep. All right. All right. So pretty much everything that is on the list from the shop. Anything that needs to be grabbed from there, we have. You can right. grab as much of it as you can physically carry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, <laughs> if you want to take, like, 30 bottles of healing potions, if you can carry that much in your bag, then yeah. <laughs> All right. I've got it to math to do. I'll be back. <laughs> Uh, I believe, Fennel, you had your held action to throw yep. dart next. Go ahead. Yep. It's uh, 28. 28 to hit. Oh, damn. Yep, that hits. Uh, question. Doesn't specifically specify, but can I use a key point to try and stun it? Um, it doesn't just, It doesn't say anything. On, just on says the... when you hit with a melee weapon attack. This is technically monk shit. Technically a ranged weapon attack. I don't know if they. Oh, true, with, true. I don't know if they do that distinction in D and D though. Uh, give me two seconds to Google that because I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, okay. it's like it would count as a ranged. That kind of blows though. That was a good move. So at this moment, is there still only that one spider? I think that we can see. Yeah. Uh... You guys only see the one at the moment. Nice. So, you know what the best part is? The first rule of survival in an apocalypse is you don't have to be the fastest. You just have to be faster than the slowest. Guess who's the slowest? Okay. So, melee weapon attack is defined as any attack that happens within five feet, five foot range of somebody next to you. Unless okay. the weapon has range on it or whatever. So, thrown weapons are technically... Wait. Why are thrown weapons considered melee weapon? Wait. Wait. Two seconds. Apparently, somebody's saying thrown weapons do count. Conflicting reports. What? One minute. I'm the official <laughs> rule lawyer. Let's go. <laughs> we're we're, we're trying to classify what a melee attack is. We're, we're just trying to. to if, if you can use a key point on throwing a dart. And key point says you need to use a melee weapon attack. Yes. On, correct. Or a, me yeah. or a melee attack. When you, yeah, when you hit with a melee attack, melee weapon attack. Oh, okay. So, if you th throw a melee weapon, it's considered a ranged attack. However, it's not necessarily an attack with a ranged weapon. <laughs> yeah, you got a long attack sword. with yeah, a melee weapon. If a long weapon. sword at someone, is technically an attack with a melee weapon. Gotcha. It is. Yeah, it is. For that meme, that's where melee oh, attack versus yeah. attack with a melee weapon. Yeah, th that actually makes a lot of sense on why okay, they said okay. separate classifications. So I, I would say under this ruling, no, it wouldn't. Yep, fair enough. I don't think you can stab with a dart. If I were to throw, like, throw. instead of a dart, if it were, like, a dagger or a short sword, then yes. But yeah, yeah. dart specifically says ranged weapon, so. Now that I'm looking. Cool. I'll just roll damage. It's fine. And it's a one! Oh, damn. Let's go. What a surprise. Well, you hit it, at least. Um, I think that was it for your held action. Re what? Well, you already went down the chimney. Were you holding an action? Uh, no actions held, nope. Okay, so I think that's it for all the held actions. So now we are to... Uh, Rinya. Yeah, I, was say, I think it's the horse. You just got slashed in the face, and now you feel weaker. Uh, well, that's gonna piss Rear right the hell off, so he's immediately gonna go into a rage. Okay. She got the mad butt again. And? This pretty elf face got damaged. Yeah. No! So going into rage, I believe that also triggers my wild surge. So let me roll my d8. Okay. Well, this works. So shadowy tendrils lash out around you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 necrotic damage. I also gain 1d12 temporary hit points. Uh, 
And is that well, each believe... creature around you? And how many feet? Uh, within 30 feet, it's every creature of my choice has to make a con save, so. Oh, I'm glad it does. I'm glad that it specified of your choice. <laughs> yeah, no, it specifies of your choice. Um, right. And then it says, you also gain 1d12 temp hit points. I assume that would go specifically to rear. Yeah, whoever's using the ability, yes. Um, also, what was the save that I had to make for the spider? It is a constitution save. And if it requires a saving throw, the DC is 8 plus proficiency bonus with this constitution modifier. I roll a 9, so it's probably going to fail, I'm going to assume. Oh, yeah. uh, unless I have, like, no proficiency and no constitution. Sounds like a fail. Um. God, they have weird places on this. Proficiency bonus is plus three. Fuck it. So that alone's eleven plus whatever. Your, what was the modifier? Wisdom. A uh, constitution. So it's, modifier. It's already higher than it. Alrighty, so what is Dan? It's going to take 8 Necrotic. Okie dokie. Oh, and actually... This is not. Ooh, okay. Six level path of wild magic feature. I can harness your wild magic to bolster yourself or a companion. As an action, I can touch a creature and confer one of the following benefits of your choice. For 10 minutes, creature can roll a d3 whenever making an attack roll or ability check and add the number rolled to the d20. Um, or roll a d3, and creature gains one expended spell slot, the level of which equals the number of older or lower. And take this action a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus, and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Okay, so this six level, so Rear is going to use bolstering magic. Uh, first on... Oh, it's an action, though, isn't it? Okay, it says an action, so he's not going to do that this turn. He is, however, going to go reckless, because uh, it's the first attack of his turn. Uh, so he's going to attack with advantage on both the, at least the first hoof attack. Using strength... That hits. That second one also hits. Rania is going to use... I think she's going to use Flaming Sphere at fourth level. Okay. Uh, that is a dexterity saving throw. Has to be at 16. Yep, decent. Damn it. Does it still do damage, just half damage or um Okay, uh half as much damage on a successful one, so it does take okay. half. Alright, roll damage. Ooh, nice. And then, as a bonus action, I can move the sphere up to 30 feet. I wonder... Can I hit it into the same creature? No. No, it's on your subsequent turns. You can use your bonus action to move it. Yep. Okay, so subsequent turns. Yeah, you can't, you can't hit the same creature with it more than once. Okay, and there's or, only one spider ten. so far that we've yep. noticed? Yep, yep. 
take two turns to hit the same creature. You'd have to back it away, and then next turn after that bonus action, bump it into it again. Okay. Um, so, bonus action, she's going to summon her wildfire spirit right on top of that spider. Well, right next to it anyway. Uh, kind of behind it and off to the side of it. So that the creature is the only thing within 10 feet of where I'm summoning it. Well, the creature myself. And then it has to succeed on another dexterity saving throw. And that is another 16. Kill it with fire! Oh, yeah. Oof. Okay, I'll have my character sheet's not loading, but I think that's about all I can do with my wildfire spirit this round. I already, I want to put out this out just to, um, a thunderstorm is rolling in, so if Sarah and I mysteriously disappear, because we lost power. <laughs> Sick. Oh, fun. Tis the season. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, if you're all set, it's Poe's turn. Crazy. What you now, doing, Bo? I'm a spellcaster, but I'm not gonna cast a spell this turn because <laughs> I'm not wasting my spell slots on one of them. More, maybe. Are you, are one? you still oh. a rat? No, I I became unrat when uh when uh, we all got alerted. Okay. So I'm just gonna, you know, slash at it with my sickle, effectively. Alright, roll the hit. You know, I don't think I do. <laughs> End up missing. It's you fine. miss, yep. Yeah, alright, cool. Anything cool is a bonus action, one second. Nope, only have one bonus action spell and I'm not wasting it. Ah! Oh! Cool. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait. That's my turn. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's one Back thing. On. I'm not wasting all my shit on it. Back around to the top of the order. I believe Whisper, you're up. Yeah. Um, question on what you're gonna let me get away with. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to know, I see the shop, that I can get any level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spell scroll. Okay. Do I get to so, pick one, or...? Um... Actually, so with the scrolls, we're gonna give them a weight of half a pound. What, what, what's a, is there already a weight limit on D and D Beyond for what scrolls weigh? They might. Uh, yeah, it's checking. not much. It, it doesn't have it doesn't have a weight. Yeah, so we're gonna say that they were. I'm not concerned about getting too many of them. It's just I'm looking for specific ones. <laughs> Okay, um, you are going to be able to find, I believe, on the list from the shop, I had a specific level range that they had. Yeah, it's one through five. Yeah, so you can find any one through five spell you're looking for. Okay. I got it. As far as how many of them you can take, uh, I guess that depends on how many you plan on taking. You can personal message me and we'll work that out. Okay, we'll work that out. (laughs) Okay, I got what I need. We'll work out the the rest after that. Okay. Um, but just know I'm grabbing some if I can, based on what we can come up with later. Um, all right, so I guess I'll just wheel around, and we'll take a shot at that spider. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit, because you can still see it through the door. Yep. Uh, and uh, are we doing, like, flanking or anything, or...? Um, it is currently flanked, if that's what you... Yeah, if I can get advantage. Yeah, you can get advantage. Okay. It's got Poe and the horse on either side of it. Good thing for advantage. Ooh. All right. That definitely hits. I guess you're lucky I'm not a rogue, because technically I can give myself flanking. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, she's just two rogues. <laughs> that's her trick. It's two rows in the trench coat. Let's fucking go. Next character. I have an idea. <laughs> like a, is that like a flanking feedback loop? No, I... 25 damage. Nice. 
Uh, it looks pretty fucked up right now. Cool. Good. Can I uh, go outside and use conning action? I don't know how that works. If I can use that to maybe try and climb the roof. Normally it's just dash, disengage, or hide, but... Climbing is um, part of movement, so... Yeah. Um, if you want to try and climb up the roof with your dash, you can get it at half movement or whatever. It's only 10 feet, so... If you're dashing, what's your movement speed with a dash? Uh, I'd be 60. 60, so you got roughly, looks like 15 feet to get out the door. Be another 10 feet up the roof. That would count as 20 feet climbing up to the roof. Okay, so I can use the I can use the cunning action as a disengage, though, just so because I'm going to enter the spider's range. Ye, yeah, I'll allow it. It's currently turned with its back to the door okay. anyways. It's fighting the horse. All right, let's try this. Oh, come on. <laughs> fell off a two, or I fell off a 20. <laughs> well, you, you, like, run out there. And you go to do one of the cool parkour things that you've been doing. Yeah, yeah. All, all like, the whole time you've been here, and like your foot slips on something on the wall <laughs> as you like try to parkour up it, and you end up uh, falling back to the ground. Shit! All right, I'll use whatever remaining movement I can to just move away from that spider. <laughs> Save face from the. Ah, oops! Yeah, you didn't see anything. I meant to do that. I mean, sweet barrel, the, the sweet rest barrel of roll. Saw him begin to do something that looked like it was going to be really cool, and then he just kills <laughs> and tucks you know, and rolls on the ground and rolls out of the way. You, you if that face. actually worked, that would have been sick. Yeah, but you you notice like I I look fatter than I used to just because I got everything stuffed in my pockets. Like <laughs> that's that's true. <laughs> Did you manage to gain like thirty pounds in just like five seconds? Uh, I would say more, but yeah, nice. Is that it for your turn? I now? just I made some very like big estimates on what I actually came for for weight because I figured it's probably all heavy stuff. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm good. All right, Fennel, it's your turn. I'm gonna throw another dart. Throw the dart. No. Wait, does oh, that hit? No, you miss. Son of a bitch! I'll attack again. Wait a second. Hold on. I think I have stuff with key points. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. Oh, sweet. Yes, when you miss with an attack roll, you can spend one to three key points to increase your attack roll by two for each of these key points you spend. Does a 15 hit? No. Son of a bitch! Oh, how about a 17? I'll burn two. Yep, that hits. Cool. Enough with the ones. Oh, I'm the king of critical fail. Well, how do you want to do this? Oh, nice. sick. Sick. Because it was almost dead. Um... I think I'm just gonna throw it, and it's gonna, by luck, because I'm usually a little tipsy and I only have one eye, so my depth perception sucks. I'm just gonna throw it at the spider, and it's gonna hit it in the eye, and I'm gonna be like, meant to do that. Okay. We're full of happy accidents today, you know? So, it gets hit in the eye, and then it lets out a loud screech. Shit. And then falls to the ground dead. I need perception checks. So, guys, one of the first rules of, ap of Apocalypse just got to be faster than the slowest person. Unfortunately, I cannot be faster than the slowest person, for I am the slowest person. All right. Those are all really good perception checks. With that, you hear... We hear it. In response to this thing's death wails, shrieking coming off in the distance... And some of it right next to you, further down the road by the armory. And it is rushing towards you now. I don't suppose like we could pin this on the slams or something? I mean, in theory, if, if the oozes were beasts, I could polymorph into one. But, uh, 
they're not beasts. You guys see coming out of the darkness to the south of you, which is up on the screen. <laughs> Two more of these spider creatures. Um, How far away are they? So, like, oh, this is why I wanted to go to the bar and get throw the twice. slime on the ground. How far are they away from you? What? Like, in terms of, like, how many seconds is it going to take them to run over? Yeah, oh, no, They're going to be here within six seconds. Uh, can I cast Wall of Fire in between me and uh, us and them? <laughs> uh, you can on your turn. Initiative uh, has not ended. T uh, nice. When is it their turn? <laughs> well, that's for me to know and you find out. Does anyone, Does like, have something I could write with? Or I do. What was that? Does anyone, um, like, have something it, I could write with? It is still technically Fennel's turn. Yep. Are, you, are you ending your turn? No. So you, did I see? I see them. You see them rushing at you. Yes. God, how far away are they? They are probably. They're very close. Let me pull out the thing again. I would suggest that we start running. <laughs> uh, that is thirty-five feet from you. Is the first one, and the second one is roughly fifty feet. I think I have sixty-foot range with a dart. I think so, yeah. That's, I think, the dart range. Range on a dart's 20, 20 short, 60 long. Is it, yeah, so it's just with the, the furthest one away is just within range, and the other one is definitely within range. Okay, I'll throw one at the closer one. Okay. Roll to hit. Aha! That misses. That'll do. That one, gang, let's go. <laughs> Damn. Somebody um, throw Fennel's dice in the fire. Yes, need, please, dude. Need these new ones. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to like spend money and buy different ones on D and D Beyond to break this curse. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> up next is, I believe, Re. Can I? I got one more thing I want to do. I guess. Um, okay. Bonus, I got. I can spend a key point to bonus action dash. I want to catch up with Whisper. All right, so you're going to jump down? Yeah. All right. Bree, you're up. Bree. You are still inside the shop. Is it? Can I see anything to grab? You can see lots of things to grab. More things than you could possibly ever grab. Anything useful? Roll me a investigation check. Oh, finally. Yeah, you find a lot of useful things. I imagine I can just grab a couple of things. If you want to take your turn running around and just shoving stuff in your bag, I'll let you take stuff from the list from in the merchant's corner from the magic shop. Absolutely. Okay. So, it is their turn. I'm fucked. Actually. You are not, at this moment anyway. Well, the moment we try to run, I'm the slowest. Spider fast. runs over to the mayor and swings. <laughs> Score. That's okay, they're not real. Swish. Yeah, yeah not, right, yeah. you just yell out. It's okay, you're not real. Oh, it hits. Yeah, I think he's real for this moment. It hits? It hits. Yeah, he's not real. He's, he's fucking real for this moment, guys. It's You see its hand connect with the ghostly form of the mayor. Just imagine the wound's not real then. I don't oh, know. Oh, Jesus. Oh. There is there is no oh, spell, oh, God. guys. Come on. So it slices right through like his gut. And you see goopy, like bluish colored goop spray the ground like ectoplasm. And uh, he has some uh, pretty significant looking ghostly wounds there on his stomach area. Oh. That was a uh, poor mayor. Damn. <laughs> yeah, die again. 
All right, next spider's up. Oh, let's try to get rid of you. Great. It doesn't quite make it all the way to you, though. It's like almost there. But you can tell it's running right for you, horse lady. There are all sorts of bloodthirsty. They're just attacking whatever, willy nilly. Pretty much. Almost at random. Almost. <laughs> um, next up is, uh, I believe, Poe? Or is it Sylvie? The horse is before oh, me. The horse. Horse, you got one coming right at you. Run. What are you going to do? Like, like, I'd recommend we start running. Come on. Okay. Um, so, how square wise is it? How far is it from me? So. It is like within 10 feet. Trying to think how much I need for a charge. That poor mayor, man. <laughs> oh. You did, might not think a ghost could feel pain, but he sure looks like he's in a lot of it right now. He fucking felt that. Okay, so charge is actually a bonus action. It is 30 feet. Alright. So, if I ignore the one that's coming at me and I go for the one that hit the mayor, would I get a 30-foot charge on it? Um, if you go around, let's see. Getting just over here. You would have to then loop around the mare to get to the spider on the other side. Mm. So this this right here is uh, 25 feet. Yeah. 25 feet to here. Okay. So I do have 40 movement. I don't suppose I could jump over the mare as the last part of the charge. If you jump over the mare, you risk kicking him in the head with your hooves. Yeah. Put him out of his misery. Fresh bugbear, bugbear arms. I mean, he was incorporeal when you tried to touch him before, so... Yeah. Let me ask you this. Are your hooves considered magic weapons? Uh, no. Well, that, that depends how you define the suit. <laughs> um, it would depend. Is Rear just using fist attacks when he's punching? He, he's just clawing shit. Yeah, so that's not magical. Okay. Then, yeah. Not magical. So, yeah, you, you would assume you'd probably pass through him then. All right. <sighs> And to be fair, we're not super bright, so it's like, you know, ghost, not he's real. Gonna, he's going to run through the mare. <laughs> he's going to charge over and flatten that spider. So bonus action charge. Okay. Followed by melee attack, which means I do actually get an extra of attack. All right, roll the hit. Oh, and actually, while I'm here... Uh, the wild shape. Both those spiders need to make a con save. Or a uh, dex, I think. Dex save? Let me find where I put this stupid thing. No, it was a they, con save. They both. Oh, it was a con save? Yeah. Well, this is the same modifier, so we'll just use those yeah. numbers. Uh, that was against 8 plus proficiency against Constitution. It was an eight for your plus. They they automatically fail. Eight plus three plus two. Yeah, they they fail. Okay. Um, so they are both going to take one d twelve necrotic. You ready? Actually, actually, that's within thirty feet. Is the third one within thirty feet? Because make him make that save too. Um, what was that? Sorry about. What? Actually, no, we killed that one, didn't we? Yeah, the one's dead that you guys okay, originally killed. Okay. So they each take 10. Alrighty.
And what else? Um, what else are you doing? Here goes attack, I right? I, I don't think I get surprise attack on this. It says once per combat, no. if you surprise a creature and hit it with an attack on your first turn. Yeah, it's not surprised. It's, it's actively fighting you guys. Okay. So then, it is. Oh, wait, I get extra attack. Oh. oh, no, I was already doing that. This one's getting two half attacks. Yes. I almost got excited. <laughs> Rediscovering something you'd already discovered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was already calculating it in mentally, just didn't realize where on this mess of the character sheet it was coming right, so from. So roll, roll to hit. That misses. That hits. Wow. Okie dokie. Misses. Okay, so I think that does it for rear. Uh, I do have that fireball still. Yep, you can move it. So, bonus action, Rini is going to swing that around and collide it with the one that was originally charging towards them. So that is a... Dexterity save. Dex save. A 16. It fails. Ball of fire just flies up right into its face. <laughs> it takes 16 damage. That's my line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Okay, so then for her action does does healing work on ghosts? Don't know. You just evaporate them. Oh no. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? No. Oh, does God. more damage. Oh no. <laughs> Try so... summoning a ghostly therapist. See if that helps. I mean, I have guidance, but I don't think it does what it suggests. Say Beetlejuice three times. Roll me, roll me a, <laughs> you can roll me a uh, nature check, and you can use guidance on that if you want. So we're, we're going to say that based on your knowledge of the, psych the circle of life, that you don't believe any of your healing magics would be effective on something that is already dead. Fantastic. Uh, so I can't help that. Um, and I think she's going to cast third level of Oh, that's each creature, though. Um, between me and the spiders, it's just Binky, right? Um, yes. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, burning hands is out. You know, heck with it, we're gonna do flaming sphere again. So, deck save against a 16. Where is it you're moving the sphere? Um, I'm creating a new class for one. Oh, actually, yeah. no, it's concentration up to a minute. Yeah, you're gonna lose the first one if you make another one. Oh, so I would still have the first one, never mind. Ah, so could I theoretically hit the second spider as an action? With what? Because it's the bonus action to move the spear. 
But would I be able to use the action to move it again? No. It uses your bonus action. If you want to waste the spell slot, you can conjure a new sphere and lose the old sphere. And yeah. place the new sphere on top of the other one, but that's up to you. She's going to cast Ice Knife at second level. Okay. Is there any saves involved with this? It's a roll to hit. Okay. That hits. Okay. Uh, aiming at the one in front of us. Wow. 10 damage, that's not bad. Pretty good. Oh, it's a zero on mine. <laughs> oh, no, you hit for max damage. Oh, okay, I'll take it. But the target and each creature within five feet of it must succeed on a deck uh, save. A 10 on a, on a D10 a 10 is a zero. So, okay, so the initial is 1D10 piercing damage, and then it explodes. And then it has to make a deck save and everything within five feet of that spider has to make a dex save. It makes a 13 for its dex save. It's the save it needs to make. Uh, 16. So it fails its save. Let's see if the mayor fails his save. Hopefully not. Oh, no, nope, mayor, mayor succeeds. Okay, so it failed. It takes 2d6 of cold damage. Yep. Go ahead and roll your cold damage. Nine next. Wow, nice. Alrighty. Is that it for your turn? Or? Uh, and then I believe my wildfire spirit. They, they had screwed something up with this shit. Like, my sheet's not actually showing any of the words unless I highlight them. I think this is one where I have to use my bonus action commanded to do something other than dodge, so it's just going to follow me over here. Okay. All right, all set. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Um, believe Poe goes after you. Cool. Is there any within five feet of me? Uh, it's not within five feet, but it's within ten Cool, feet. I run. <laughs> you gonna run? Yeah. <laughs> I am fucking dying here. <laughs> where, are you, where, where are you going? The opposite direction of the spiders. I mean, they're kind of pinning you up against the wall. You can either go... Let me rotate my camera so you guys can see north and south. There, you can either go south, which is down, north, up. Either one of those directions. To, I'm gonna go past uh, Whisper and Fennel. Wherever they're going, I'm also heading. I have a 25 foot movement speed, just so you know. Uh, that's as far as you get, then. Cool. Action dash. I'm running. <laughs> You're just gonna run back up the road? Yep. The way you came? Correct. I need a perception check by the time you reach the end of your extra 25 feet. Oh, God. <laughs> 23. So, uh, Paul, you see eyes looking back at you from the direction of the bar. Yeah. And they're in clusters of eight. Yeah. And they are coming closer through the darkness. Cool. Free action, I can technically speak. Uh, Whisper or Fennel, either one of them, I'm just going to tell them. Yeah, there's shit at the bar. Don't run the direction I just ran. <laughs> You got it, buddy. Yeah, and uh, that is my turn. Okay, it's uh, it's, it's a uh, blah, blah, blah. Binky's turn. Binky is going to attempt to kick the one that just attacked the mayor. There you go. It would behoove him to protect the mayor. Binky misses. Damn it, Binky. 
He just delivers messages. He doesn't deliver the death part. He then attempts to... He, like, rear kicks at the one behind him, and then he attempts... When his rear legs come back down, he attempts to front kick with his front legs at the one in front of him. And he hits. And does 38 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that spider gets sent flying 10 feet forward and hits the wall. Thunk. Splat. It's pretty messed up looking, but it's still alive. All right, we go back to John's turn. All right. Um, do I... Is is Pierre still distracting any of them, or have they all just pretty much come rushing this way now? Um, you don't see any coming from the direction that Pier, you sent Pier in. Okay. So you would assume he's still distracting some. Alright, good. I guess I will fire an arrow at the one that's hurt? Are they both hurt? Which one's? Uh, they're both hurt at the moment. Um, All right. The one that is closer to you is hurt slightly more than the other one. All right, if I fire at the other one, is there a way to get advantage on that? Um, it's engaged with a bunch of people. The one that's over next to Rinya, you'd get advantage on because it's engaged, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Just to make sure. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah, it definitely hits. Uh, Re, by the way, while you're in the shop, just send me a list of the things that you want to pilfer, and I'll give you a yes or no on the stuff as I go back over it. 25. Damn. It's How do you want to do this? Uh, as silently as possible. Okay. Can, I, can I hit it in the brain so it doesn't have a chance to squee out in pain? Roll me a performance check. What? <laughs> But you weren't expecting that one, were you? Ah, suck it! Yeah, you totally, you hit it right in the brain. And it just silently twitches and falls over dead. All right. You will, no you will notice, because the other one would have done this just recently, but, like, the, the first one you killed started to dissolve into, like, a greenish ooze. Like an ickery stuff. Okay. It's, not, it's not just a puddle. And this one that you've just killed you can tell is about to start doing the same thing. Gotcha. Re would be Re would be familiar with uh, what happens to these things when they die. Yeah, Re is distracted. Ah. I, uh, I am recording so I can't do all of the things so I'll just hit you up after. Okay. okay. We'll, uh, we'll discuss that later. You can let me know. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then I can I look behind us? Because I Poe said there's stuff behind us. You can roll me a perception check at advantage because you're looking for stuff that you know should be there. Yeah, you see a bunch of eyes. They're staring in your direction, but they don't appear to be moving quickly. Like, I'd assume they're more focused on me since I just ran at them. Do I get a sense of like how many eyes and you count four. Four. Four four sets of eight. Four sets of oh, okay. <laughs> Some more spiders. <laughs> Some would say there's thirty two eyes there, you know. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I haven't moved yet, so uh, roof action take two. <laughs> You're gonna go back up on the roof. I'm, okay. I never get there in the first place. Throw me your. Uh, I'll let you use either athletics or acrobatics. Oh, sorry. Um, well, acrobatics is plus eight instead of plus six, so it'd have been two more. All right, so that's just enough to get up there. You don't quite gracefully make it, but you make it. Gotcha. Okay. 
And then I think that's probably my turn. Okay. Uh, Fennel, you're up. Uh, he's going to yell up at Whisper, who's now on the roof. Quit moving around and give me my staff. And I'm going to whip a knife at the, or a dart at the other spider. It's cool. in the other building. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Where's where's the quarter staff? In the, in the blacksmith. Building. The blacksmith. The blacksmith? Yep. I mean, you theoretically still have mine. Yeah, but yeah, I think, wasn't you? Weren't you getting yours improved or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Plus he wants one. his improved one. I'll see if I can attack and then work my way over to try and get into that building. <laughs> Which right. building was it again? The one like next door, right? Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. You're so close, yet so far. Oh yeah, I'll get, I'll get there. I mean, it's your turn. You can attack uh -huh. over there now if you want. Yeah, I want to kill this spider first. So right. Nineteen hit. Uh, yes. Nice. It's looking pretty messed up. And I'm gonna uh, throw another dart. Flurry of throws. Yeah. Right. Another 19. Hits. Nice. It Dang. seems to be hanging on by a thread. Okay. Oh. Uh, bonus. I'm spending a key point. Bonus action dash. Okay. And let me roll my hop. And see if I can jump over the spider. Is he four feet tall? He is not four feet tall. Dope. So you're going to try and go over him? Yeah, I'm going to dash at it and just use my four feet of hop to hop over him. All right. Well, as you're going to attempt to jump over him, it's going to get an opportunity attack. Son of a bitch. Because you're just low enough where you're still within range. But what's your movement? Uh, 90 with dash. Dear Lord. 90. Uh, one second. The monk rabbit. Damn. You get to hear. <laughs> Perfect. But it is going to get that opportunity to attack on you. Oh, 22 hits. I see. Oh, yeah. Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Mm, yep, nope. You take 18, and your hit points are permanently reduced by 18 until you've had a long rest. Or get greater restoration or remove curse. Oh, God. Ouch. You got a slash on your shoulder that won't heal. <laughs> so it's it take that much damage and it's reduced by that much? Yep. A okay. AKA, your, your new maximum hit point total is now what it's at. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> For the purposes of everything, you technically didn't take any damage. Yep. You, just, you just got reduced. Okay, uh, is that it for your turn? I think so, unless there's anything I can do to try to circumvent the attack real quick, but I don't think there is. Yep, that's my turn. Re, you're up. Okay, so Re is going to uh, scoot up to probably the door. I don't imagine the windows can be opened. I mean, you could try. All right, well, I'm going to run to a window at the front and see if I can the, open it. So getting getting to the door is 25 feet. Um, you're going to try and get to a window? Yeah, I've got 30 feet. So is there one within reach? Uh, there is one at 30, at 30 feet. Is it open? It is not open. All right, then I'm going for the door. All right, so I 
Is this me or is this sphere not exactly <laughs> where my mouse is? Uh, all right, so, yep. So you have five feet of movement left by the time you get to the door. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poke my head out the door. All right, to the shooting. left of you, you see the spider. So go ahead and roll the hit. I that, that, hits. that definitely hits. It needs to roll a con save. It's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you want to do this? It fails. I shoot it in the butt. <laughs> nice. Have you checked your butthole? All right. Um... Get up, but up, <laughs> I love it. Zach knew exactly what we were talking about. Knew where I was going with that. <laughs> that, that one's dead. Um, cool. Sick. I'll burn my last five movement getting out the door, and I'm turning towards the smithy. Okay. Turning and burning. Is that it for your turn? I don't. I don't think I can do anything else. It's a shame you didn't turn around. Yeah, because I didn't say out loud. I just telepathically spoke. Nope. Re has no idea. As long as they can't reach me in one turn, we're fine for a moment, you know? It looks like we're fine for a moment. Uh, Alright, it is now Rinya's turn. And we really need to all check our buttholes. We'll be fine. Your little sphere of fire still exists, by the way, Rinya, until you dismiss it. Yeah. So... There's only one left, right? It's all, they're all, they're the all dead. That, yeah, the ones that were right next to you are all dead. Okay. So, uh, where's the wants to fight? So they're going to look around for anything in the area. Um, Poe would have mentally told all of you, I think. I right? can only target one, and I oh, basically targeted never mind. Roll me and Whisper check. also never said anything, so. You don't see nothing. You don't see shit. Neither does Rear. <laughs> Rear's gonna kind of very disappointedly sit down on the ground and drop rage. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh well. Well, I I can't keep it unless I have something to... Yeah, to keep your rage. You either have to hit or get hit. And oh, then get after hit. Go, yeah, no, hit or get hit. Oh, well, in that case... One of the two. Front half can give the back half a little smack. In right? theory, you I mean, can I mean, actively just slapping. punch yourself. You Slap, could just slap punch that yourself out. as a as a barbarian. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think Rini is gonna slap the back half like you're oh, still you mad. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> We're like not done yet. Don't get lazy. Show me your war face. Awesome. Ouch. If he's, if he's raging, damage. three damage, you know, because resistant yeah. to bludgeoning. I believe he is resistant to bludgeoning. What well, we all learned that day was that Rear was into it. Of course. I mean, <laughs> hey, who is it, right? I mean, there's a reason he reason he's on the bottom. I don't know. Kinda, gonna <laughs> accidentally knock three off that twelve temp HP. Alrighty. Like in math, it's 1500. Okay, um, that having been done, uh, Rear's gonna full action charge in the direction that they saw most people head off in. The smithy. Yep, so just full on charge that direction. <laughs> And uh, on the way out, Rania is going to um, plant druid shit, whatever, and make the grass spell out uh, oozes rule, demons drool. Nice. By the corpses. There, I'm back. 
Roll me a. Uh, I want to th- roll me a persuasion. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Let's start a gang war. Theoretically, because I have the convincing feat, do I get uh, advantage? Not on, not on this. I, I wouldn't say no. Technically, they're hostile. I mean, this is going to be for whoever happens to come upon it after you're gone, so you don't get any extra persuasion. Eighteen's pretty good, though. <laughs> <laughs> so just give me that one dude because I was morning coffee looks at those fuckers! <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. So yeah, and then she's gonna have the the fire orb follow her for 30 feet, and her familiar is gonna follow her. And then is there anyone who looks particularly beat up outside of people well, who've permanently well, lost HP? I was gonna say the ghost looks pretty mangled, but you can't I do anything for him. Anything. I mean, I can um, offer like pity head pats that'll go right through his head. Fennel like, looks like Fennel looks like he took a nasty scrape, but so didn't you to the face. So. Well, neither of us can heal past that because our max <clears throat> HP is permanently yep. down. Yeah. Love fighting these things. So theoretically, nobody needs healing right now. Yep. Yeah, but I I don't think there's anything I can do. I just have. Healing word and misty step. Alrighty. Oh, actually, I am going to use my bonus action to tell my wildfire spirit, next thing we see, fuck it up. So it's an attack mode now. Alright, so it's hell holding an action. Well, I think, is it a bonus action to command your wildfire spirit? Well, it's a bonus action, but I'm. Uh, I would have to use my action for that. I think I use my action writing shit. Mm-hmm. Never mind, it's just going to follow me for nothing. Okay. Um, all right, so Poe, your turn. Move back 25 feet. Where does that get me? <laughs> <laughs> Where I you started. Part... I need to specifically see how far back I am. Right here. Is that like on the cusp of the building? Like, if we line it, is that on the cusp? If you want to get to the edge of the building, you can get to here. Well, no, it's more or less. I need to know how far in to the buildings like am i going to be five foot five feet past just the edge there or am i on the line oh you're about 15 feet past the uh, edge okay of the line. perfect <laughs> good move me there all right there you go yeah it's a bit hard to see with that uh so then as my action i'm then going to cast wall of fire between Basi- basically at oh. the line the line of the building so that What's I'm the gonna... length of the wall of fire again? 60 feet. <laughs> so you definitely get the whole length of the building. 20 feet high by the way as well. So and uh, the damage inside is going to be facing towards the spiders. Yeah, create a wall of fire on a solid surface within range. You can make the wall up to 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and 1 foot thick. There you go. Yeah. It's uh, 20 feet in the air, luckily. So, And then uh, that's my action. Bonus action, I don't really have anything I can do. So that's my turn. <laughs> All right. We go back to uh, Whisper. Your turn. You are on the roof. You see those things coming towards you now. Okay. Um, Does he know how high is the roof? 10 feet. No, he doesn't. My wall's 20. <laughs> you only have it covering that entrance, right? Or do you want oh, to do I said all way? 60. I oh, said all okay. 60. All right, yeah. so no, you just see fire in front of you. Ah! I want to I wanna try to cover as much ground so they have to go a bit longer around it, if possible. <laughs> Well, because you said 60 feet? Yeah, target basically the center of the road. It'd be 60 feet, so 30 in each direction from just the road tile. So it doesn't quite cover the entirety of the side of the building, so give me two seconds. (laughs) As much ground as I can possibly cover is fine. I love it. Leon literally builds us a wall of fire. There you go. It's more of like a 
I'd make it taller if I could. But yeah. Yeah. Have that yet. Also, just so just so that uh, it's clear, it does not set fires. <laughs> so I'm not burning the two buildings it is touching. That's so, good. So, John, you can't see on the other side from where you are, but if you move off to the right a bit, you can see. Yeah, um, I'll do that. I'll move off to the right, just so I can see the one on the, the furthest one on the right. Okay. And I'll try and take a shot at it. Alrighty, roll the hit. Oh, nope. <laughs> nope. You this fire is distracting me. <laughs> In that case, I'd like to turn around and dash. Use my bonus action to dash. Okay. And I want to... How, how far away is that other building? The, the backsmith shop? Yeah. Like the distance between... If you want to get onto the roof of the blacksmith shop from this roof, Yeah. it is... Uh, what is that? Five times 14. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Calculator. Oh, okay. The eight? It's like 70. 70? 68 feet. Yeah, 70 feet, roughly. Yeah, 69 feet. Okay, well, I can't quite make it, I guess. But I'll move up close to the edge of it. The edge of that building? Yeah, yeah, right. the one I'm oh. on. Because so, I was going to try and, like, running long jump over it, but... So you spent roughly 15 feet getting to where you are. How much do you have left? So 45. So where is it you want to go? Towards the other, towards the blacksmith. You get to right about here. Okay. Um, yeah, that works. Alrighty. And after, is that it for your turn? Yeah. Fennel, you're up. Did uh, this place have a chimney? It does have a chimney. Yeah, it does have a chimney, yeah. It's also got a door that's like five feet from you. Hmm, yeah, I'll see if the door's unlocked. Or scratch that, it's not five feet from you. It's, what is that? It's 30 feet from you. <laughs> My bad. You want to go to the door or you want to take the chimney? Mm. The chimney is uh, uh, 40 feet, but it's also 10 feet above you. Yeah, all right. We'll jump up. I get the 11 feet of a hop. And then to the chimney. Okay. And then I'll just fall down. Because monk You're, shit. Are, are you dashing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll just do that too. Bonus action dash. All right. With the dash, you're going to make it to the chimney and you can go down. I want a perform, uh, not a performance check, a acrobatics check. Okay. Damn, don't Holy shit. shit. You like matrix your way down this chimney. I mean, I could have just fallen too, but, you know. Yeah, you like do the monk man pose thing, landing. <laughs> Stuffed animal noise. This is a squeak toy. Oh, shit. Uh, what do I see? Should I do a thing? Roll me, yep, roll me a perception check. Dirty. Oh, damn. Okay, well, uh, you see an empty room darkened with all of the uh, equipment and stuff laid out over the tables. If you want to roll a investigation check, you can ransack stuff. Yeah. You also are going to notice something else. After your investigation check. Eh. You managed to find your staff. All right. But beyond that... Who's holding it? 
beyond that, you don't immediately notice anything else. But as you find your staff and you go over and grab it, you look up and on the ceiling, there are some eyes looking back at you. Oh, shit. It's in the back corner of the uh, room. Just the one set of just, eight. Just the one set. All right. What are you doing? Uh, did I use all my movement? Yep. I think you dashed too to get down here. Yeah. Oh wait, no, you didn't use it all up. If you dashed, you still have. What's your normal movement? Uh, forty-five. Yes, you had ninety. You probably have thirty feet of movement still. Where's the the doors stage left there? From here, yeah, it's uh whatever nine times forty five feet. So I'm gonna try and get as close to the door as I can. So you got thirty movement left. Yeah. And then once I'm there, I guess I'll throw another dart. Okay, rolled hit. I'm almost out of these things. Shit. Does it use your action to dash, or is that a bonus action as a monk? Spend a key point to bonus action. Oh, sweet. Fifteen? That misses. Son of a bitch. Uh, let me see how many more of these I have. I gotta be... I had nine to begin with. I think I got like four left. Well, you're in the place to get them. There we go. That hits. Eight damage. Nice. And that... Will be the end of my turn. Okay. Next up is uh, Re. All right, I am taking after Fennel because I need my other blow dart gun. All right, All right you're gonna roll or you're gonna sprint. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming we can't get in the front door, so I think I'm gonna roof hop. I don't know why you think you can't get to the front door, but... <laughs> oh, all right. No, nobody's tried yet. <laughs> I'll run over and check, but if it's locked... Okay, um, so... What's your movement speed normally? Uh, 30. So but I'm going to dash. dash. So you'll get to about here. Okay. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Uh, yeah, because I imagine I don't see or hear. I mean, I see the wall of fire go up, but I'm like, well, that's weird. All right. Are any of them within 10 feet of that fire? They are just outside of 10 feet. Damn, because they would take 10 damage if they ended their turn within 10 feet. Yep, they're like right on the edge. They hit the point where they felt the hot on the end of their fur, uh, and then they stopped. Fur? Fire on a hot. spider? Yeah, you know, like hairy tarantula bodies. Fire hot, they've realized this. Good. But they have come pretty damn close to that wall. Alright, uh, next up is Rinya. It's your turn. Are there any enemies on the inside that I can see? No, but you guys may want to consider picking up what you came here for. I mean, at this point, is the uh, door to the smithy open? No. Well, uh, Rear's just going to try to kick it down. I mean, you could just try to open it. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could <laughs> check to see if they locked their doors, you know? Sure, why not? Rennie is going to attempt the right. door handle. So, what's your movement speed? Uh, 40. 
This is as far as you get. What if he dashes? Oh, wait, dash is action. You could also try it. Is there anything you wanted out of the magic shop? Because you haven't been in there yet. Um, None of you have, except for Whisper and uh, the frog. <laughs> I mean, while we're breaking and entering, may as well. All right, you can make it into the magic shop with 40. All right, let's do that. Uh, right. Renny's going to try the handle, and then we're just going to kick the door down if it doesn't work. The door opens. In fact, I think that's the only building this door is already open, because everybody was going in and out of there. All right, well. Uh, yeah. Roll me an investigation check. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, so you'll be able to, if you spend your next round ransacking, you can pretty much pick whatever you think you can carry from the list of things from the shop. Can I get two people's worth? Uh, you can, because there are two of you. Sweet. You guys may want to consider grabbing things that you think might be of interest for yeah. Al Alphonse and them as well. Yeah. Oh, I, I will. I will. Sorry, we don't speak of the people who aren't here yet. <laughs> they never existed. They never woke up. Shame. They were all grayscaled. <laughs> we just didn't look close enough. Um, all right, so if that's going to be your turn, next is Binky and the gnome. You're I want to see that sitcom. I was just thinking Binky that. Binky like... and the gnome. <laughs> Binky begins to walk down towards the the uh, blacksmith. And the gnome is going to use his turn to be like, uh, uh, quick, everyone, g g get what you need and, and meet me over by Binky. And he's going to move over towards Binky. And then it is Poe's turn. How far away is Binky? Benki is right here in the middle between the two buildings. How far is that from me? Let's find out. It's a total of uh, 50 feet. Oh, cool. <laughs> Action dash. I'm right on him. Okay. You don't have anything you want to pick up in either of the stores? Nope. All right. You're right next to them. All right. Back to uh, Whisper. Your turn. Okay. They're probably... Can I see that spider from where I'm at? Or is it, like, below the where you're at line now. of side of the building? It's below the line of side of the building at the moment. Okay. Uh, guess I will... I'd like to just run and jump over to the next building if I can. Yep. Can you long jump... 15 feet? Uh, I gotta remember how those rules work. Because there's a distance of 15 feet between the two buildings. Sounds like I can, but... I think you just roll with your strength modifier, right? That's all I've been doing. Yeah, yeah there's specific rules. I think, like, because I, I can add my up to my strength score. Is it? Or a few times my strength score? Something like that? I think yeah, something like that. A jump calculator? Yeah. So... Jumping's, like, based on your fucking height and your strength. Yeah. Strength yeah. is 14, so... How tall are you? One minute. Six foot, probably. I don't know. I, forget. I always do put six foot. One ah, perfect. Uh, with a run and start 14 feet horizontally without a run and start 7. He does have a running start. Well, then 14. So, it's you're like one foot short. Reach, <laughs> reach out. Go to, I'm, gonna let you, I'm gonna let you roll a performance check. We round up here. We why round up in this household. Why we performance? Because I want to see how cool you make it. That's not. <laughs> you gotta look. You gotta look while you do this stuff like this. Come on. It's like I just, I just want to see. We're in the matrix. Humor, humor you have your to DM. Perform for me. I will do it as long as if I fail, I don't fall and like break an ankle or something. <laughs> I mean, you have to roll a one for that to happen. 
No guarantees, basically. Yeah. No guarantees. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you totally do it. All right. He like freaking long jumps that thing, like the Matrix. <laughs> You, you just see like a mage okay. hand come up behind me, give me a little push as I jump. Nice. <laughs> For that one extra foot. Yep, you make it, man. You're on the other side. Cool. And then Binky is down towards the end of that building. Uh, he's in the road between the two buildings. Oh, okay. um, you do have some movement left after you jumped because you used your dash action too, right? Uh, yeah, I can, yeah. So you still have you've only used your regular movement now you still have your bonus action or bonus if you want to like either jump down off the building or if you want to go down the chimney or whatever. Um can I move how far is it how far does that end go? I can't quite see. Does what go? The end. Is it past this building? Oh, uh it's like halfway. Can I just can I make it halfway then just to see to, and kind of take a look to see if there's anything coming around that corner. Uh, yep. Your regular movement's what, 40? 30 is regular, so. 30, 30. so you get 60 to total with dash. So you get to move to here. So... Yeah, if you go to here, you'll be able to see around the corner. Alright, let's do that. All right, roll me perception check. Yeah, you totally see eyes looking at you from around the corner. Uh, of course. Imagine having arachnophobia right now. Oh, I don't own that movie. I don't. I hate that movie. It's a stupid <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> All right. Um, so, question then. If I use my cunning action to dash to get across that, do I still have my ability to attack? Um, you or, used the bon bonus action to dash beforehand, right? Yeah, that was my cunning action was to dash. I would assume you still have your regular action. All right. So you can attack. Let's do it. It hits. Ah, ones. Ooh, that's a good... 19 damage on the closest one. Yep, that one definitely felt it. And now that we're not being stealthy, there's a giant wall of fire. I'll just let everyone know. <laughs> Yeah, there were spiders that way. Oh! More spiders this way. All right. Are you all set with your turn? Yep. Fennel, you're up. You're inside the building. There is a spooter in there with you, and you just got your staff, and you're headed towards the door. Are you still going to continue towards the door? Well, how far away from me is the spider? 30 feet. I think I want to go beat its ass. Okay. I don't think you would have heard the gnome from inside this building. So no, probably not. You did not hear the call to gather around and GTFO. Point of order, did we? Yes, you are like right next to the gnome. You would have definitely okay. heard that. You, Whisper, Poe, and uh, Rinya would have all heard it. Because you're all, well, actually, Rinya, you went before or after? Pretty sure I went after. So you would have definitely heard them say that then, too. Because I know you're inside of a building now. <laughs> so you're going to go beat that spider's ass? So, me? No, I'm talking to Fennel. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Okay. You, you're going to go beat that spider's ass? Yes, yes. Alright, attack. Attack! Whoa! That definitely hits. Uh... 
Um, Victoria blows. Oof. It misses. That hits. All right. Two out of three. Now I'll make my second attack. It's nice. That one looks pretty beat up. Um, yeah, so I got 10 more movement speed. They said it was 30 to get there, right? Yep. So I got 25 now, and I gain the benefit of disengage. So I'm going to run back towards the door. Okay. And, uh, Oh, shoot. Can I uh, recon that final melee hit to be a... Uh... Wait, did I hit with the quarterstaff plus one? It says you hit with the quarterstaff plus one. Yeah, cool. I want to try and stun it. Okay, go ahead. What does it need to roll, or does it need to roll? Uh, yeah, DC 16 con save. It fails. It's stunned. Sick. Stunned until the end of my next turn. Nice. All right. Is that it for your turn? And yes, that is my turn. Okay. Uh, after that, re your turn. Hip hop. Hippity hop hop. Hip hop hop. Wow. Sugar the Hill. Ether's really. on its way. <laughs> Are you gonna dash again, or are you? What are you doing? Uh, I imagine I have to dash. I'm trying to get up to the door. The door is forty feet. Yeah, so I have to dash. Oh, you're at the door. You still have twenty feet of your movement left. Is it unlocked? Can I get in? Yep, yep the door is unlocked. Oh, go figure. I climbed down the fucking chimney. The damn thing's unlocked. Yep, you unlock, you, you open the door. See, it's, 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 yeah, it's, just, it's just people in this town. We don't lock our doors, okay? We don't need to. Because <laughs> it's normally. a peaceful town. <laughs> the locks are an illusion. So you have 20 feet left. What you gonna do? You see Fennel is running towards the door. Well, I open the door. And I'm gonna scoot inside. Then all you see the frog scoot in the door in front of you. Oh. You can and... only an investigation check. Yeah. Can I roll this at advantage because of this demons? You've been in here before, so you can go ahead and roll at advantage. You've been in here before in the dark, I should specify. <laughs> Fuck. That's high enough. You see a good amount of stuff. Do I see my stuff? You also notice the stunned demon spider in the corner. Um, you do find your stuff with a 15. But it is over by the chimney. Fuck. And I, I got 20 feet left? Yep. yep. I'm, I'm going for it. I'll use up what I've got left for my speed. You have to go clear over one of the tables, so roll me an acrobatics check. Oh, with pleasure. Boing. Yep, you, you just jump right over the table. Was the boing for the jump or for the pleasure? <laughs> sure. Yeah, a lady doesn't tell. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alrighty, are you all done with your turn? Though to be fair, we still don't know if Re is a lady or a gentleman. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't. I don't think I have anything else that I can do unless I can take a pot shot at that. No, no, no. I use my action to dash. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Arguably, Reese is her 
Yes, sir. Alright, that means nah. turns. I don't like it. These are all the same spiders, right? They all appear to be the same, yes. Okay. We're walking in the air. Oh, fuck, there's more over there. No, 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 there isn't. It's fine. I can only keep concentration on one wall right. of fire at a time. Going to, uh, Binky and the gnome are calling out again to everybody to hurry up and get their, get, hurry up and, and get your stuff and, and get over here so we can get out of here. And then it's, uh, Rinya's turn. Your turn, Sylvie. Right. Uh, once I've grabbed as much stuff as I can stuff in places, uh, Rainier and Rear are gonna run back out and join Inky and the gnome. You're just gonna go straight to them? Yeah, just straight to them. Okay. As you get there, the gnome is gesturing that you all need to take up hands in a circle. Okay. And just for funsies, uh, I'm going to move my fire sphere over to block that other alleyway off. How much can you move it? 30 feet? 30 feet. So in that direction. Okay. Um, next up is Poe's turn. Unless you want to do anything else. Um, there's nothing around me. I think I lose Wild Surge because I dropped Rage. Um, my spirit's moving over this direction. I'm going to use an action to command it. That, you know, if need be, you're in attack mode. Sorry. Ooh, and actually, you know what I can do? <laughs> Just to just to fuck things up a bit. We're gonna summon beast. You're gonna summon beasts? I'm gonna summon many beasts. Alright, what are you summoning? I am summoning eight panthers. So, third level conjure animals. Uh, eight beasts to challenge rating one fourth or lower. And under one fourth, I have panthers. Unless you think I should fight spiders with giant wolf spiders. I mean, we're going with panthers because I already put those down. Okay. <laughs> they do have poisonous snake too. They are not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Large panthers. All right. So, what do you have in all of your cats do? Uh, they're going to be defense. And as soon as they see spiders, they're going to go try to attack them. Okay. Eight cats. My god. Summoning is bullshit. <laughs> I, I mean, if I pulled this at level five, then I would have had Fuck your initiative. Off. Alright, are you all, are you done, Sylvie? Yeah. Now it's starting to sound like a long tusk with Anfwen. Oh, it's your turn. What you, what you doing? Held action. Something gets within melee range. Swipe. Okay. That is all. Back around to Whisper, then. 
Whisper, what uh, you up to? How far am I away from the magic circle of friends? Uh... You are roughly 60 feet. Perfect. All right, let me take, I'm going to take a shot at that one that I shot last time, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to dash and get over there. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. That does not hit. Yeah, I think that misses. Okay. I yep, and then I go to the circle. Okay, you get there. Are you is that it for your turn? Yep. All right. Uh Poe, it's your turn. Or Fennel, excuse me. My bad. Uh yeah, rinse and repeat. I'm gonna beat up this, beat it up. I'm gonna be honest. When I said Poe, it's your turn. It's because for some reason my head said Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Kung Fu animal. All right, beat him up. Oh, wait, are you leaving or are you coming back to beat him up some more? Oh, um, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Running back in. <laughs> Running back in. You really like ran halfway across the building, turned around, run back. Or what? Yeah, just stay away from him. All right, roll the hit. Uh, I did. It's a 21. That definitely is. There we go. 14, nice. He's still standing? Yep. What? All right. He's really messed up looking, though. I'm going to try and take him out with a flurry of blows. That definitely hits. Nice. He did. I got him. Yep. How are you going to do this? Nice. Uh, well, the flurry of blows are unarmed, so I uh, hit him w once good in the head, and then I imagine I just punch my fist right into his spider mouth. And, Gross. Yep. And that's that. It's a pile of moosh. All right. Um,. You used, I think, 25 movement to get over next to him. If you want, you can roll another yeah. investigation check to see if there's anything you want to grab while you're here. Read my mind. You may want to consider grabbing things for others as well. Oh, that's 16. All right, you can find a few items off of the list from the blacksmith list if you want. And you can snag those on your way out the door. You're going to use your remaining movement to uh, make your way back towards the door? Yeah, and uh, I don't see him on the list, but can you just say I just snag a bunch of darts? Yes. I don't uh, know what else I would... You can consult the list afterwards, um, after the session, and just let me know, and I'll let you know what things you feasibly could have grabbed. What you Okay, okay. So uh, you got five feet left. For, what, you're, is it 40 movement speed you normally have? I have 45 normally. 45. And then, so you use 25 I... just now. So mm -hmm. you still have another 20? I'll have 10 more on top of that. When I use Floria Blows, my walking speed increases by 10. Okay. So you got 35. You can get, you can run up here, grab some stuff. That'll use. Um, 15 feet, and then you could probably still make it to the door. Cool. Yes, I do that. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Yes. Three, you're up. Dart gun? Yes. Can I do it without dashing? You can You can get there without dashing. Okay, can I grab it? Yep. Yep. Uh, do I see, like, is there, like, a load of darts there, too? Uh, 
With the investigation check you rolled earlier, yes, you'll be able to find... You can find a handful of items, like I said before, too, that you would find useful. And you'll be able to consult the uh, the uh, Merchant's Corner thing later to uh, determine what you found. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. If so that's the case, the chimney. then uh, it, there's no fire lit, right? Nope, the fire is out inside of the uh, forge. I'm chimney. going up the chimney. Okay. Roll... Uh, what did we have you roll before to go up the chimney? Acrobatics. Yep. I have significantly higher stats oh, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah you like just parkour right up that chimney wall, jump oh. out. Okay. And I, that probably uses all my movement. Uh, if I have any movement left, though, I'm heading towards the party. It would have used if you dashed to get up the chimney. That would have been half your. It's twice your movement to go up, which is ten feet, so it'd be twenty feet. You can move another ten when you get down. Okay, dokie, I'm doing it. Okay. So, after your turn, it is their turn. The spiders move. The cats see the spiders now, by the way. All right, mauling time. Whoop, sorry, I didn't mean to roll that. You guys see as the spiders are beginning to... You can hear them up there on the roofs and stuff surrounding you. Um, it is now Rinya's turn. I mean, at this point, Rinya's kind of just waiting. Rinya's waiting. Rinya's waiting. And the, uh... Bee cats are gonna go mull shit unless there's anyone around me who obviously needs healing and is not undead. Nobody is hurt in a manner that you can heal at the moment. Okay, then it's just gonna be bee cats. <laughs> the cats move in for them all. Yep. Alright, we're gonna use because there's so many goddamn cats. We're just going to use the swarm style mechanics for this. So pull up the stats for one of the cats. And I'm going to have you roll advantage on an attack. And we're going to have that one attack count for all for four cats at a time. And they're just going to get, if if they end up hitting, we'll have you roll the dice for all four cats. Because this is, it's going to take forever otherwise. <laughs> it's too many cats. Okay, I think I found the stats. All right. Uh, pounce. Attack, attack if the panther advantage. moves at least 20 feet straight towards creature, then hits with a claw attack on the same turn, target must succeed on a DC 12 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. So, if they're charging 20 feet, I go ahead and have the spiders make DC 12 strength saving throws for each cat that hits them. Uh, and then if it's prone, the panther can make a bite attack as a bonus action. That. One is not prone. Okay, uh, so then the first attack is a claw attack, so that is plus four to hit. So this is plus four to hit for a claw attack? Yes, so it's one right. to 24. Roll with advantage, because this is going to determine for four cats. So that does not hit. So roll, what's the next attack? Um, the one that's down gets a bite attack. That is also one yeah, melee weapon attack plus four to hit. All right, so roll again with advantage. Uh, 
That again does not hit. Hell are these dice tonight? Jesus. Okay. So that was for what four of them, and then the other four get to yep. do the same. So I guess a couple more uh, strength saving throws. That hits. Fuck that one. Okay, that was the claw attack. That's... So you're going to roll four times the dice. Okay. Four times the dice. And then you'll multiply the bonus damage by four as well. Okay. So it's 1d4 plus two, so that's 44 plus eight. Nice. So multiply that by four. So almost 80 damage. Wait, what? Why are you multiplying it again by four? You rolled the four times dice, right? Oh, oh, sorry. No, it's multiplied by two for critical hit, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, well, okay, so because you got a critical hit, 30. you would have rolled double the dice for the critical, but then I'm also having you roll dice based on the number of cats. Okay, so should I... So it's going to be... It, so if, if it, the regular attack is 1d4, right? Yes. So then you would be rolling 16d4, I believe. Because there's... No, there's 4... four yeah. yeah. So... D4 plus... Yeah, it'd be 16d4 because it's a critical. So 60, 16 D4 plus 16. I don't think that math is quite right. It might not be. I'm really tired. Okay. That's fine. Like, okay, so it's 1D4 plus 2. If it's a critical, that is 2D4. So that is 2D4 times 4 cats. 2 times 4 is 8. Oh, yeah, it'd be 8. You're right. 4 plus whatever. So technically, I just have to roll this one more time. So, yeah, it'd be 8d4s plus, yeah. So they're going to take, yeah, 40. Alrighty, that's pretty solid. And then they also get a bite attack. Roll to hit with advantage. That hits. And that one it did. Cool. Uh, the Panther's just gonna each go take a limb, rip it off. Alrighty. Just imagine them doing the kitten, the nom, 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 nom. Yeah, yeah, just sit down now on it for a while. Alrighty, um, after you, is, that's it for your turn, right? The cats have yeah. done all their stuff, so it's Poe, it's your turn. Same, same held action, pass. Okay, uh, moving back up to Whisper. You're at the circle, you pass in your turn, or are you going to shoot something? Uh, we're all pretty much there, right? Uh, everybody except for Fennel and the frog. The and they're me. about to be? Yeah, they're about to be. Uh, I'll use my action to dismiss Pierre. Okay. Um, so I can summon him whenever we get back to where we're at. Okay. And I'll uh, do whatever hand-holding we need to do. Okay. You join up hands and pass your turn. Fennel, it's your turn. Uh, grabbed a bunch of stuff. Killed the spider. I guess I'm going to walk out the door and see what I see. All right. You see a spider being ripped apart by cats. Oh, <laughs> Lord. And there's another spider doing battle with cats. What in the fuck? And you see a bunch of people holding hands in a circle over by uh, the horse. What in the what? I'm just going to like uh, go around all the 
animal melee and head towards the circle. You're like late, bunny buns. Hurry up. Did you know there's a fourth squad? It's cats. <laughs> yeah, they're like totes mine. We saw them a bit ago, you know? Oh, I thought it was another party wanting to the town. There's cats are moving in and taking it, then slimes and whatever. What are we doing here? Are we having a little, a little puff puff pass. What's going on over here? Give a fiddle. More or less, we're trying not to die, <laughs> you know. Oh, I'll drink to that. Yeah. Takes a, just drinks the rest of his flask. We well, got time to go to the bar. No, <laughs> no, we do not. I'll say that's probably about all the conversation you're going to get out of that six seconds. Though. Yeah. <laughs> that's my turn. Okay. Re, you're up. Re uh, is going to finish running up to everybody and seeing everybody kumbaya uh, I'm going to look to my left and I'm going to look to my right. And I'm going to fish two antitoxin bottles out and pass them to yeah. whoever's got to hold my hands. <laughs> yeah. I forgot okay. That was going to happen. So Re holds out some bottles to. Uh... I'll take that. It looks like fennel and whisper. Oh, thank God it wasn't me this time. I already been poisoned what? once. What is it? What's this then? As I'm putting it to my lips and drinking it. Free. <laughs> Antitoxin. <laughs> just because if you try to touch her, you'll get poisoned. <laughs> All right, chug it. It will not taste good. I know from experience. All right, you both down your potions. I believe that gives you resistance to touching her hand now. It, yeah, like you that. just have advantage on the save. All right, you guys hold hands as we make your uh, whatever saving constitution. Is it? Constitution got to be a twelve. With advantage, advantage right? Yeah, you yep. get advantage. Oh goody! No, oh, fennel's okay. Yeah, forgot advantage are always, but ah, you both make it. Good job. Fennel is fennel. I just imagine his liver is just immune. It's yeah. All right, um, as you all. Link up hands. The gnome winces a little bit at its gash across its stomach. Okay, here we go. And you all flash as you you're only perception checks right before you TP out. Yeah, that start wrong good at the end. And anybody who rolled a 16 or higher is going to have noticed the giant spiders that were leaping off of the rooftops, literally flying through the air at you right as you all teleported. That's terrifying. Back to Poe's house. You are bigger. now on the road near Poe's house. Bigger spiders than the ones we fought? No, these are the same size. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They're like people-sized spiders. Yeah, yeah. With, like, people hands. I don't know. I don't, yeah, that. I remember the photos. Yeah. Unsettling. But you're now back at Poe's house. Do I have all my appendages? Everybody has all their body parts, except for Mr. Ghostman is, like, leaking ectoplasm everywhere, and Rinya's face looks really messed up, and Fennel's shoulder's a little scratch, like, got a big gash going through it. So a normal day. <laughs> Listen, I had my body pulverized just last night. I'm fine. This is this is fine. Yeah, I mean, compared to the other day, I just feel a bit... I don't know. I'm yeah, Not that I know what that can, feels like. At least you can still properly move around, unlike me right now, so... Well, I'll never stop moving, but start hopping in place. I'm fucking 250 years young, and I have to use a cane to walk. Well, you did get thrown, like, a long I got, way. I got thrown, I got smacked, I got crushed. Oh, he's like, suck it up, Buttercup. We got chucked. He's All fine. right. Yeah, you. He's a barbarian. He's meant for it. Your and butt. Dude, like, don't be racist. Your entire butt came off. I mean, I know I'm drunk all the time, but, like, I didn't. That was a thing, right? I didn't need to wake up from a coma Please. and see that. I mean, it's only a thing if you want it to be. Oh, lassie. This the old butt marrying trick. This is why you stay in the bar. All right, you guys all gain a level. <laughs> oh lordy! And that <laughs> finishes tonight's session. Congratulations, you made it out alive. 